want to speak with this man, Mr. Ruiz. Yes, you can come. You can come, yes, sir. Can I speak with you? Huh? Yes, sir. We need to pray for you. Okay. Because when I looked at you, I just saw a spirit of limitation. I saw a spirit of limitation in your life. That there's a certain spirit that whatever that you're trying to do, it's like the enemy's closing that. That's true. Huh? That's true. So when I looked at you, I saw a spirit that from your forefathers, they were worshipping things. Huh? Yes, sir. Are you aware of that? I'm not. Huh? I'm not I aware. I just saw people, it's like the, sometimes they'll gather. After they gather, they'll be drinking something. I don't know from of there, it. Huh? I'm not this is the spirit that I'm talking about. Okay. That it was done a long time ago. And now this spirit is fighting you. Huh? Okay. okay. So we need to pray for you because I even saw your uh, problems in your marriage. That's true. I saw problems in your marriage that if we don't pray for you, there's a plan of Satan. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. There's a plan of Satan because I just saw you and your wife having a lot of differences. That's true. giving a lot in the house. That's true. Huh? That's true. So we need to pray for that also. Okay. And there's a spirit of limitation, as I said in the beginning, okay. that we need to pray for. Nice. I don't know, but I'm just seeing. I don't know. I'm just seeing the grace of God in your life. I don't understand this. Are you a pastor? Yes, huh? I'm, a, I'm a pastor. But I'm seeing. It's like the same spirit that I was talking about. It, I don't know. When you came here, you came for the issues of direction. Yes. Huh? Yes. You need a direction, but I'm just seeing a spirit of limitation. You understand what I'm trying to say? You've got okay, a church. Sir. Yes, sir. But this church, I'm not seeing a church that is growing. No. Huh? It's not. It's like the enemy is also trying to press you to have many minds of closing this church. Huh? Yes, sir. yes. So I'm telling you, I'm guiding you now, today, that this spirit is going to leave you. All right. Amen. It's the spirit that has been oppressing you for many, many, many years. Because I'm just seeing a church that is doing like this. That's huh? true. That is true. A church that is doing like this. Yes, sir. So today, this church will grow. Amen. And your marriage will stand because the enemy is fighting your marriage, sir. Yes, sir. We need to pray for your wife. Okay. Huh? Yes, sir. We need to pray for your wife because... It's like there's a spirit. We need to pray against the spirit, spiritual husband. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Because it's destroying... I'll end up speaking on TV now. This TV is limiting us. <laughs> but let me pray for you. Your church will grow. Right. Amen. I want God to bring, to give you more visions because that's what you're crying for. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You're crying to see visions. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Come out. Come out. My brother, come. Are you a Christian? Huh? I'm seeing... Are you not drinking alcohol? Huh? I do drink. You do drink? Yeah. You came here with who? Alone. That's what I'm talking about. Because when I looked at you, I just saw a bottle of alcohol in front of me. I don't understand. You want to be a Christian? Yeah. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'm just seeing there are so many things that you need in your life. Huh? 
Yes. You need a job. Yeah, I do have huh? a job. I do have a no, job. No, no, a better job. Yeah. Because this one, you're complaining about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just seeing money, that this money, when it comes, it, it just fades away. Huh? Yeah, that's true. Huh? That's true. And now, this money, when it comes to you, <laughs> friends, I want to pray for you to get a better job. But I'm, I heard the Holy Spirit say, tell him to leave alcohol first. I'm not trying to condemn you. You understand my point? Yes. I want you to follow God, and you'll see a better job will come, and a car will come. Amen. When was the last time you were drinking? Huh? I was in the hospital. No, no, no. Before wait, that, wait. I was wait. drinking. Wait, I'm coming there. I'm talking about you drinking. I think two weeks back. Two weeks back. Yeah. And what happened? Then I was admitted in the hospital. You were admitted in the hospital? Yes. You almost died. Yeah, that's true. That's the reason why I'm asking you. Because I just saw you drinking alcohol and something bad happened. You were taken to hospital. Huh? Yes. When you reached to hospital, so now you told yourself, I want to follow God now. Yeah, that's true. Huh? Yeah, that's true. But there's a temptation that is coming. We are going to pray for you. You'll be fine because you are not fine now. After you are fine, there will be a temptation again. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So I want you to follow God. I want you to be serious with your salvation. Because if this, this thing of alcohol, I'm seeing people beating you up. Oh. All right. Huh? Okay. So now, if they beat you, it's like if you go back and drink, there will be people that will come and beat you. And they will beat you, and something bad will happen to you. Mm. You understand my point? Yes. So I want to pray for you. I want God to give you a better job. Leave alcohol. You'll find a good job. Amen. You heard what I said? Amen. Because if it was not the issue of this hospital, you're not going to come here. Yeah? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Huh? If you didn't go to hospital, you're not go God was saving you that day. That's why I said to you, when was your last time? Because your last, time, your last day of drinking alcohol took you to hospital. So I want to pray for you, and God is going to help you today. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. So don't drink. You smoke also. Huh? I used to smoke cocaine, not cigarettes. Yes. Where is your mom? She passed away. Huh? She passed away. Ah, you need to be serious with your life. Because I'm just seeing a black shadow very close to you. So we need to pray for you. Because it's like, let me tell you, your friends, they are a problem. You, you are somebody that can make friends so easy. Yeah, huh? that's, that's true. You make friends so simple. So I want to pray for you. Don't, don't do these things again. You spirit of alcohol. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. Can you turn him like this? Death. Come out! Come out! Come out! 
Come on! Stand up, come here. Come here. Come. So you're losing appetite. Huh? Huh? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Come, let me pray for you. Because this is a they want to kill you. Where's your wife, sir? Eh? Uh, she's in Kruger Stop. You don't come with her yet? She'll be, she'll be here for tomorrow's service. She'll be here for tomorrow's service? Yes, sir. Who told you to come in? I brought myself. We need to pray for you, sir. Amen. Because I just saw some complications in your life. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are you a Christian also? Yes, I am. Huh? Yes, sir. You need to be serious with your Christianity. Because where you are, it's like, I don't know. You're not supposed to be where you are now. Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. I'm just saying that there's, there's a spirit that has been delaying you. Amen. And we also need to pray for your marriage. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. I don't know. Are you doing business? Yes, I am. Huh? Yes, sir. We need to pray for that because I'm just seeing a breakthrough on the side of business. Amen. You understand my point? Yes, sir. But be serious. Be dedicated. You need to serve God more. I'm just seeing a lot of blessings that are coming to you. Amen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. So, but I'm seeing money, money, money. I saw, I saw money. Second thing, I saw a car. That Amen. is coming to you. You'll give us a testimony. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to pray for. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for the business. Yes, sir. And I'm praying for this car that I'm seeing. Yes, sir. And where are your children? My daughter's in Hrobla Park with her mother. Huh? She's with her mother. I have a daughter outside of my marriage. Yeah, yes. That's what I'm seeing. The reason why I'm, I had a cry of a young girl, I don't know. Yes. That's why I'm asking about children. I wanted to ask you, is this the first lady? Because I'm not, I saw somebody else besides this one. Yes, sir. Huh? It's true. Are you supporting the child? I am. Because I'm just seeing there's a plan of court. I'm supporting her. Huh? I'm supporting her. I'm not denying. I'm, see, I'm saying I'm seeing a plan of court. It won't happen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. So I'll pray for you and God will stand with you. Amen. You've got two daughters. My wife is currently pregnant with a daughter. Huh? My wife is currently, currently pregnant with a daughter. Give glory to God because I'm just seeing daughters. Amen. I'm just seeing another child that is, it will be a girl. You're free. My name is Sokunshola Amos from Nigeria. Uh, the man of God has me 
uh, if I'm a pastor and I confirm that, that I'm a pastor, and he talk about my ministry that has not been going on properly, going up and coming down, and that is true. I confirm that that is true. And uh, about uh, spirit of limitation, all running, almost everything I've been doing since. Limitations, 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 and I believe God has answered my prayers today. The man of God also spoke about your marriage. What was really happening in your marriage? Uh, yes, um, my married wife, I had my first wife, she passed on 2013, and God directed me to marry another one. And we are still believing God for the fruit of the womb. And the man of God talked about the spirit of the husband and some other things that is delaying the uh, blessings of the marriage. I confirm that that is true also. And also the man of God spoke about the ministry growing and coming back, growing and coming back. How did it affect you? And is it true that your ministry is growing and not coming back? I confirm that, that the ministry has been progressing after some time coming down. And how did it affect you? Uh, well, I have come for direction. I've come for direction because I've been thinking of what to do. Because presently I'm with uh, I'm under one pastor ministry. Whether God wants me to stand alone or to continue with the ministry. And also, when the man of God was still praying for you, he said that he's seeing that you want visions. Is it true? Uh, that's true. That is true because God has been showing me many things. And in the past, I used to see many things that would happen, but nowadays it goes down. So I've been crying to God and praying to God to restore me. And right now, as the man of God spoke things that you didn't share with anybody, how are you feeling right now? I'm, I feel I'm happy now. I'm happy. I believe God has answered my prayers. And also you got the opportunity to see Apostle J. Makanesa on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience and what did he say to you? Uh, uh, Daddy did not went into the details of the, uh, uh, the matters. But almost everything that Daddy spoke about is what the prophets spoke about now. And how are you feeling right now as God has used the prophet and the apostle to speak unto your life? I'm very happy. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I want to encourage people to follow God's direction because God directed me to come here. And I believe God has met my, uh, my desire and my test. I've been satisfied. I'm encouraging people to also, if they have the opportunity to come and see the man of God, he will guide them on what to do. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you. You. And also here with us, you are with uh, one of the people who were prophesied today by the prophet of God. Say, so introduce yourself to us. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Boniso. I stay in Compton Park. Confirm the prophecy that you received today. Yeah, it's bad. Like, yeah, everything that the, the prophet said was, was true. My life was, uh, was a mess. It was a mess, you know, yeah, so. It's, it was true, like, I'm, I'm living a very unhealthy life, unsafe life, like, stuff. I'm living a very careless life. Yeah. Let's break it down. The man of God kept on to speaking about alcohol, alcohol. How many years have you been drinking alcohol? Long time. I would say over 10 years. Yeah. And he spoke about you being in hospital, and he said, before you could go to the hospital, something happened. What really happened that made you to go to hospital? No, I was just chilling in the corner as my pair routine, and then I drank, 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 and then I was not feeling well, and then I went home, and then from home I was having pain all over my body. I was feeling hot and cold at the same time, and I was sweating. Like, it was bad, and then I, I had to go to, to the hospital. When I got to the hospital, I got admitted. Yeah. So you are confirming that indeed what the man of God has told you is true? Yes, it's true. The man of God also spoke about better job. Tell us about that. Yeah, currently, 
I'm always complaining about my current job. I'm not happy because of the hours I put in. The salary is okay, but the hours I'm putting in, I'm not happy at all with them. Yeah, so I'm deep down, deep, deep, deep. I'm the only one who knows that I'm not happy at my job. So the man of God was, was I'm surprised he knew that because I'm the only one who knows that I'm not happy at my job. He also spoke about the car. Are you having a desire to have a car? Yeah. BMW X3 2018. So he's correct. Yeah, he's correct. And how are you feeling right now? Uh, just another testimony. I was I was not feeling well. Like sisters, they were sitting next to me, they can tell. I keep on having a, like having that thing, but I'm surprised it's gone. Amen. And also, you got the opportunity to see Apostle J B Makanisa on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience? Oh, the experience was awesome. <laughs> the experience was awesome because of he keep on saying things that I don't want to hear, but then I have to hear. But yeah, the, the experience it was awesome. Did he prophesy? Obviously, he did. What did he say to you? No, he blessed me with the with the, with the car again. Okay? That's uh, I'm gonna get my 2018 BMW X3. So, so even the prophet has also confirmed. confirmed. Yes. And how are you feeling right now? Ah, it's like I have it already. <laughs> Amen. What, what can you say, say to the viewers out there? <sighs> Take it from me. I'm the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. So if these things can happen to me, like anyone can turn their life around. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that you are coming back with that testimony. Amen. Amen. And also here with us, we are with one of the people also who were prophesied by the prophet of God. Say, so can you please introduce yourself to us? Hi, I'm Monge Zikosa. I'm all the way from now spread in the Mpumalanga province. Uh, the man of God uh, prophesied that uh, he asked me if I'm a Christian and uh, I confirmed it to be correct. And he mentioned that uh, I needed to put... Um, more effort in my spiritual life. He also mentioned that uh, he sees a daughter. I confirmed the prophecy to be true. But he asked me also that he sees this daughter, he sees that I'm married, but that was confusing to him. Uh, I confirmed it to be true because I said, I mentioned that uh, I have a daughter from my previous relationship. He says that he sees another daughter. I, I confirmed it to be true, as I told him that uh, I'm expecting another daughter. Yes. The man of God also mentioned that um, he asked if I'm doing business. I told him I, I am currently in business. He says that he sees breakthrough in business. He sees financial breakthrough and that uh, we need to pray and need to pray all the more so that God can help us in business. As you're speaking about the business, what was really happening in your business? Uh, we, we currently were expect, experiencing um, stagnation in the business and things are not moving as they're supposed to be moving. Yes. And he spoke about money also. Yes, he says, when I was sitting down, he mentioned that he sees money around me and that there would be breakthrough coming through soon. Yes. And also he spoke about the car. He spoke about a car. He sees me driving a car soon and that uh, it will happen. The car will come and I would have to come and uh, give a testimony. Beside the man of God seeing the car coming, were you having a desire or were you searching for a car? Yes, currently and uh, of late, uh, I was actually go, um, yes, I do have a desire for a car. There's a certain car that uh, has been in my heart, yes. And he also said, let's pray for your marriage. What was really happening? He, yes, he said that uh, confirmed the prophecy to be true. Uh, there's just been some ups and downs in my marriage, a lot of uh, disagreements and arguments, yes. So I confirm it all to be true. How are you feeling right now as you heard God speaking through the prophet of God? Uh, I'm feeling relieved, I'm feeling glad and I'm looking forward to um, the future, yes. You got the opportunity to see the man of God, how was the experience? 
Wow, the experience was mind blowing. Uh, he revealed things that uh, were deep in my heart and things that were currently happening in my life. And I confirm all the prophecies to be true from the man of God. And um, I'm waiting patiently for all the prophecies to come through. And I thank the Lord. I believe that you are in a right position to encourage other people out there. What can you say to them? Uh, I just want to encourage viewers out there that um, God is aware of your situation. All you have to do is put your faith and trust in Him and believe that uh, a solution is always available if you believe. Yes, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Can I talk to you, sir? Yes, you. Yes, you. Can I ask you a question? Are you a pastor? No. You're not a pastor? Yes, no. Huh? No, I'm not. Never been. You've never been a pastor? Yes. But when I, when I saw you, when I looked at you, I saw the grace of God upon your life. Oh. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm listening. That I'm we here. need to pray so that God will bring it in your life in the right time. Because what has been happening right now, the devil has tried to shift your destiny from where you're supposed to go. Yes, I used to pray a long time ago, when I was in my 20s, long, 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 more than 20 years ago. Um, yes, that's what I'm saying. What the devil has tried to do is mm. to shift your destiny so you don't get to go where God wants you to go. Yes. Huh? Yes, I'm Because hearing. God does want to use you. Are you hearing me? Yes. God does want to use you. I don't know, are you saving under somebody? Are you a church? No, it's just, it's just a disaster. I've never saved in a church you, for you more know, than two years. I'm, I'm, yes, hmm. I'm asking you because I saw you in one place. And when I, I'm still saying I saw you there, I saw hmm. you somewhere else. And I hate in my spirit that I should tell you to learn to serve in the house of God. We've been, we've been trying, as I'm saying, it's just a mix up. I've never served for more than two years in one ministry, it's just as you are mentioning it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm hearing that I should tell you to learn mm. to serve in the house of God. And when you are doing that, it's going to open the door for you into ministry. I wish I knew where to serve. There's a problem. In church, it doesn't matter where, whether in which province, but you need to learn to serve under a servant of God so that God, through what you are learning, huh? yes. when you are serving, God is preparing you. So, so that after that preparation, God will be able to open up. Because God can do you if you never served anybody. Me. No, yeah, yes. If you remember the beginning, I said... I Are you hearing me? Yes, so yeah. if you don't serve, you are not going to encounter your destiny. Yes, I, I don't know. know if I'm making no, sense. No, I know, I know, I know that, I know that. So you mm. need to learn to serve. Mm. Number two, learn to not to listen to people around you. Mm. Let me repeat what I'm saying. Mm. Learn to close your ears to what people are saying around you. I think I've said it better. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm just wondering what people could be saying. <laughs> You're wondering what people could be saying. Yes. Learn to close your ears to what people are saying around you. Where is your wife? Please come. How are you, ma? I'm good. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying to your husband? Yes, I understand. Do you know what I'm saying to your husband? Don't look at him. Answer me. If you know, say, I don't I, know. I don't know. It's fine. Yes. But I'm calling you now because we need to pray for your union. Okay. Both of you. Okay. Okay? 
Because if we don't, if you guys are not prayed for, it's not going to take long for you to separate. Hmm. Yes. Huh? Yes. The devil has already entered here between the two of you. Mm -hmm. hmm? Yes. And now the scenario at home. Yes. It's like you are living in two different planets. Yes. But living in the same house. Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about, sir? Yeah, we've been talking about, I think about three days ago, that we're not moving together. Yes. One is moving the other way and the other is moving that way. Which also contributes to what I said to you in the morning. For you to have this wife, I wasn't there when you guys met, but it was by the glory of God for you to meet this lady. Hmm? Yeah, I, I, think, I believe so. If you didn't meet this mama, I was not there. Mm. I'm saying it again. Mm. You wouldn't be where you are today. I believe so. Am I lying, ma? No, ma'am. Because all the time, all the time, it's like she pushes you towards the direction you have to take. All the time. And now the devil is pulling the both of you apart. So you don't get to reach where you are supposed to reach. There is no man of God who can stand without a supportive wife. Yes, yes, of course. At the end, your destiny is to be a servant of God. So if you separate, you divorce with your wife, how are you going to be a servant of God? Is what I'm saying making sense? Yeah, it's making a lot of sense. Is what I'm saying making sense about? Yes, yes. ma'am. Another thing we have to pray for. Let's pray for your temper. Hmm. Let's pray for your temper. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Ma so that God will be able to restore this marriage. Because as I'm standing here, what I'm seeing is pieces. Hmm. Yeah. What I'm seeing, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a foundation that is broken into pieces. Yes, ma'am. And we need God to restore it. Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. very well, very well. Don't forget what I said. Learn to close your ears to what people are saying. Learn to serve in the house of God. It doesn't matter which church it is, as long as it's a Holy Ghost filled fire baptized church there's a servant of god they serve under him are you hearing mm. me the last thing i want to talk about where are your children we they're at home in rustenburg we stay in rustenburg rustenburg yes the last thing i want us to pray i want us to pray for your children yes uh baba because, says we should bring them yes mm. because the devil is stealing your children. Mm. Yes. They are strange behaviors at yeah, home. Yes, yeah. we've been, we've yes. been noticing that. Mm? Mm -hmm. We've been noticing that. And worldly characters. Mm. Mm. It's like you didn't give birth to these children. Yes. They are somebody else's. Yes. So let's pray for that. Thank you. Thank you, to, Jesus. To stop the plan of the devil in this family. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yes. But what's important? Go and serve in church. Serving is doing anything. Wherever you see the opportunity, you use the opportunity. And God is going to lift you to your destiny through that route. Are you hearing me? Say. Amen. Yes, I'm hearing. Hmm? Yes, I'm hearing. I'm also saying that you were a person who, who would see things and hear things while you were young. But these days, it's, it's even, let me say, a miracle for you to wake up and say, I saw a thing like this. Yeah, it's a struggle. It's a once in a lifetime thing. Yes, and I don't believe them anymore. So that's why I'm saying it's mm. a miracle. Yes. Now the question is, if it was there in the beginning, what is taking it away now? 
problems hmm problems no it's not problems it's not problems if you remember i said the devil is trying to shift your destiny yes that's why the foundation of your union is broken that's why you are having problems with your children that's why you are having problems with your finances hmm. that's why everything about you it's wrong why because the devil wants to take you from where you are supposed to go and you focus where you are not supposed to go hmm. is what i'm saying making sense i feel like not you're not hearing what i'm saying i am i am what i'm saying is making sense now a lot of sense so you need to go back to what you were 20 years ago so that you'll be able to encounter your destiny because if not you're going to end up in a wrong place where you are not even supposed to be there in the first place hmm. so i want us to pray for the grace of god and the mercy of the lord amen upon this union amen thank you jesus and for god's will to prevail amen. over this union amen amen are you hearing me amen yes. can i pray with you yes, yes. You lift up your hands Did you go to the doctor? No. You didn't go to the doctor? No. Pray that you don't get sugar diabetes. Yeah, my father died of sugar diabetes. Your father died of sugar diabetes. Yeah, she he had but when he yeah, when he died. Let me say when he died was diabetic. He was diabetic. Yeah, he the last born in my father's in my father's family they are diabetic. Jesus name. in Jesus name pray that diabetes doesn't follow you okay in Jesus name you are free come my sister yes when utilele mang utilele mang Only one. You speak vendor. Hey, my name. Hey, my name. I'm going to know you. Oh, you are still back. Mm-mm. I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go. But both of you, you have the same problem. That's why. Mm, just one. My sister, come. Both of you, you have the same, the same problem. My sister we need to pray for you. Ne? We need to pray for you because there is a plan of the devil that is following you. Yes, huh? ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma As it is now, I'm not seeing anything in front of you. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma And I'm not seeing your marriage either. Where is your husband? He's at, at home. home. He's at home. You do come to church here, right? I, I used to. to. Right. Makes sense now. Now it because I'm asking myself how are you ending up in a situation like this? Where is you come here to church? I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm I'm just asking myself. Understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes I, I do understand. Because your husband is about to leave you. Do you know that? I was, I was not aware of that. You were not aware. You uh uh It's not that you are not aware of it. You are aware of it. Is that you don't want to admit that this thing might happen. Perhaps. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Because I'm not seeing him with you. That times because one of the things that bothers you is when he is not home you tend to ask yourself where is he yes because he, he works, works uh, at sekunda and, and i stay at home alone he comes only on fridays yes and 
when he's away, you do feel that he's leaving you. To extend that you also thought he has found somebody else apart from you. Yes, that's, that's true. true. Hmm? That's, that's true. true. We need to pray for you because there is a plan of the devil to separate the both of you and break this union. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Hmm? Thank you, ma'am. Because already of late, his character has already changed. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Because I'm, I'm saying this because I'm, I'm seeing him acting and speaking to you. And I'm also seeing how he used to act and speak to you. It's like they are two different human beings. The one you have now is not the one you got married to. That's true. Huh? That's true. So, come, we need to pray for you because where is your mom? My mom is at home and she's sick. Yes. I'm asking you because if you and your husband separate, you are also going to lose your mom. You telling, telling me the, the truth? truth? Shh. Hold on, hold on. I will ask you to answer me. Ne? Okay. I don't want you to say no. It's because tomorrow I. I don't want you tomorrow to say no. The thing I said and she added. Uh -uh. Let me talk. You will say your own part. Okay. Ne? Why I'm saying if you separate with your husband, you are going to lose your mother. What is happening now? Your mother is aware of it, and it has already affected her. You just telling the truth. And if you people divorce, I'm not seeing your mother living long. Because she had hope at least my daughter is married. That's very she true. could see everything wrong, but she would say, although everything is wrong, but at least she has a home. That's very true, because the reason she's sick is because whenever we fight, I tell him and he Amen. just gets stressed. Give glory to God. I wasn't in your house when you were telling your mother. Which is one thing you also have to be careful of. I'm coming back standing. We need to pray for the both of you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Because it's making feedback, ne? Okay. Both of you, I want us to pray for you so that God will bless you with jobs. That's number one. Ne? Amen. Amen. Number two, I want us to break the case of poverty in your families. Amen. And I want God to bless you with marriage. Amen. Hmm? Amen. And we break the spirit of a spiritual husband and disappointments Amen. in your life. Amen. Am I right or wrong? You are right. right. Hmm? You are right. So that's why I thought you are related because your <laughs> problems are similar. You understand? Yeah. Amen. There is a case that surrounds not only you, but everybody in the family. That's true. That they don't get married. They get disappointment. When you find somebody, when it's like they are about to come and marry, out of the blue, they just turn away. Amen. That's and true. Usually yeah. it's after you guys do something. After that. That's Amen. true. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Another thing, right now, it's as if like you've been looking for a job for so long, it got to the, now you are looking for a job with a heart to the point where you are saying any job, it's fine. As long as I can get something that will change a little bit at home, it's fine. Yeah, that's true. Hmm? Yeah, that's true. My sister? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Nimoto shumangambiru. Mm. 
at least in which you feel I want to join. Yeah, and So I want us to pray for God to change this situation. Amen. Around you. You understand? Amen. God is going to bless you. Amen. But I need you to be serious with your Christianity. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. I need both of you to be serious with your Christianity. Amen. Your future is bright, but be serious with your Christianity. Amen. And you are going to break these cases in your family. Amen. In Jesus' name. At. 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 In Jesus' name. At. In Jesus' name. Umudira, <laughs> Ratchao <laughs> Yen <laughs> Out. In Jesus' name. Out. In Jesus' name. Jim Out. In Jesus' name. You were free. I cut your head off in Jesus' name. You were free. My sister, as I was saying, please stop calling your mom when every single thing happens because you are helping the enemy to kill your mother. Amen. Are you understanding me? Amen. You are helping the enemy to kill your mother. So, but then I want us to pray so that your husband can stay with you. Amen. And so that your mother will be healed. Amen. Hmm? Amen. However, you need to be serious with your Christianity. I'm not saying come back to church. I'm saying be serious with your Christianity. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Don't tell my story tomorrow and say, I'm saying, be serious with your Christianity. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because since you got married, it's like your marriage replaced the, the place of God in your life. That's true. Hmm? That's true. So be serious with your Christianity. God still wants to take you far. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Can I pray with you? Yes. But stop calling your mom. Are you going to promise me to stop calling I your promise. mom? I promise. When, when are you going to stop? Today. You're never going to call your mom. Unless if you are going to greet her. Yes. Right? Yes. You, you're not going to discuss. I think you're 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 going to
In Jesus' name, live there, your spirit. Out. In Jesus' name, you are free. How many people I spoke to? My name is Napoleon Matala, born in Swaziland. I stay in Rustenburg with my wife here. Confirm the prophecy. Yeah, everything that she said was true. Everything that the prophet has said was true. The prophetess of God said that you must find a church where you can serve. Confirm that whether it is true or not. Very true. We've been struggling for 12 years to find a place where we could, we could call home, a spiritual home. For 12 years we've been... All of the places that I've identified where I can serve and learn, they are very far from Rustenburg, so it's been very, very difficult, so even yes. And also the woman of God said that you are a person who would see things and they would happen, but that has not been happening like before, is it true? Yeah, it's very true. It just happens in flashes sometimes and uh, yeah, once in a while, and I don't believe in them anymore. Yeah, but it's very true. He also spoke about if you go back to the way you were doing things, God will take you to where you are supposed to be, which is your destiny. Are you aware of your destiny? Yeah, I know. I know everything that she says. In actual fact, 98% of what she said, I know. And I'm the one that knows it, but I was seeing nothing happening. Then I said, to see this whole thing and God, let me just put it into the shelf, let God see it, and I wasn't, I didn't care about it anymore because nothing was happening. I was trying, 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 and nothing happening. Then I said, if this is for God, let him take care of it. Then I left it just like that. So I wasn't going into it like I should. The woman of God also spoke about your marriage, that Satan has already entered between you and your wife. What is really happening in your marriage? We were like two completely different people. She sees things in a way that is very different from, from not, not just even very different. And I see things in a way that is very different from hers. So if when we, every time we try to reconcile everything that we want to do or we're saying, it just never comes together. And then we, we, about three days ago, we were talking about that, that man, we're not walking the same path. One is walking that way, the other one is walking that, that, that way. And also the woman of God spoke about your temper. Yeah, I, I don't easily get angry, but when I get angry, it, it's a mess. I'm not somebody who you are going to see when they get angry. I go away from people. But if then I'm between a hard place and a rock, then it, the anger flares up. I can't even control, myself, control it myself. So I avoid getting angry because if I can get angry, then it's a mess. The woman of God said, deal with your temper for your marriage sake. Tell us, how did this temper affect particularly your marriage? I'm not very sure. Maybe my wife can say that. But she normally says that uh, my temper goes very high. And then I think I'm normal, man. I'm just like this. That's how, that's how I am. Yeah, but she normally says that, man. Just try to control your temper. It's very high. I said, no, man, I speak loud. That's how I am. That's what I've been, I've been, I've been saying to her. And also the woman of God spoke about your children. Yeah, we have two, two girls. They, one, is, one is 13. She turned 13 in July. They, I don't know if I can, they are streetwise. They don't want to stay in the house. They're always roaming about the streets. And she was even saying, you, 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 they, 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 they don't look like they were brought up by us. Even the younger one, she's six, she started following suit. 
Yeah, with what the, with what her sister is doing. Yeah, she was she was very true. It's just like that. Even we can even call now. We find that maybe one or both of them are not uh, are not at home now as we are here. They love they love being out, going out, walking on the streets for the whole day. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true. And how are you feeling right now as the woman of God has told you what was really happening in your life? I feel very challenged now because it's, it's not after she has said what she has said. Then we must work at doing what God wants us to do. So for me, it's, it's, it's a great challenge because we have to bring everything together. Except if we do that, then it's just going to remain as it was. Yes. Ma'am, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received from the prophetess of God today, whether it was true or not? Yes, can it. Why are you saying it's true? Glory, honey, our sister is telling us that in their marriage they are always fighting, they cannot come together. The woman of God also spoke about the temper of your husband. Can you please tell me how did it affect your relationship? speech so sometimes it can maybe get not wrong kill mm. one so mm. how did it affect you ish it affect the on that and also the woman of god spoke about your children confirm it is it true mm can i be true oh one with 13 years so i and how are you feeling right now as the prophetess of God has spoken unto your life? I'm a little surprised because next time I'm doing what I'm doing exactly the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So you saw the man of God, Apostle. How was the experience? Yo, I'm surprised. The man of God, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Our sisters just told us that it is true what the prophetess of God has said. Uh, his husband almost every time when he's angry uh, they cannot come together as one and every time when he's angry the husband cannot control his temper and also our sister our mother here confirmed that what the woman of god has said is true about their children that especially the one who's 13 years old she's very wild she doesn't do the things that you always tell her to do and she's saying that she's very surprised because the woman of god has spoken exactly what she came here for and also i did ask her about how was the experience being with the men of god and she also confirmed that it was a good uh, uh being with the man of god because the man of god told her about the womb going down and also he told you about spiritual husband spiritual husband that was tormenting her can you please tell me how would you normally feel on your womb Especially if you like not pain, you like not the pain every day, every morning. I get so like not the pain. So you let it obtain guy anywhere, but nothing happened. She's telling us that this problem of the womb has affected her in a way that each and every time she will be having uh, pains in her stomach when she woke up she'll be having pain and also she's telling us that she went to many doctors how are you feeling right now as the prophetess of god and yeah. the man of god has spoken unto your life i'm surprised you now because into my stomach and back and usually but no even i don't know i'm surprised yeah. our sister is telling us that right now she's surprised because each and every time she'll feel as if her stomach is swollen but today she's feeling as her stomach has went down we give glory to jesus for your life mm -hmm. and say how was the experience being with the men of god wonderful extremely extremely wonderful because what, 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 uh, what the apostle said to me is, it was 
I had only one prayer in life, was nothing was going right. So I had only this one prayer, and, and he mentioned it there. Because I was, and then I was saying, because I was saying my life was not going anywhere, and, and there was no solution. We have, okay, let me just cut it. Let me not go to other things. But he mentioned the one thing that I was praying for now, because I, I had stopped praying for everything else, but nothing was working. So and then he mentioned that. And how are you feeling right now? I feel knowing the grace upon his life. When he has said something, it has been done. So that is the part that is, makes me very delighted. Yes. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the views out there? Search until you find. We give glory to Jesus for your lives. We believe that as they have prophesied you, you shall come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. And also here with us, we are with the two ladies whom the prophetess of God said that they are having similar uh, problems. And she prophesied them at once and they'll be introducing themselves to us. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name? Tell us where you come from and also confirm the prophecy that you received today. My name is Interviewing Sam. I'm from Protea Glen, so it extends into what the prophet has said is true. And, ma'am, can you please introduce yourself? Mm, my name is Patricia Muronga, and if I'm mistaken, I'm Ma'am, the woman of God spoke about the job issue. How many years have we been searching for a job, or how many months? No, but even if the miracle could work, I'm guilty because still I'm still suffering. That is why Kenya got a better job. It's been long. Our sister is telling us that she's working, but the job that she's working, she has been suffering. That's why she's searching for a better job. And what about you, my sister? How many years or how many months have you been searching for a job? And they were show my over twenty level and they go show my mother position and then I should make her article with the other and go to the position and the young Tandrone River Wakamba. No, then the water there and as a position to the promotion. Our sister is telling us that she's working and she has been working there from 2011 and the position that she's working on, she doesn't want it, she wants another position. So it is a similar thing that wherever they are, they are not satisfied. And also the woman of God spoke about marriage. Confirm that to us. Yeah, I get it. Because every time if Kivali moved to over here, and then out of the blue we'll fight and then to do la unali din to and then but no tama just like that without unali to gin and no mudirle or no not but no tama is true. Our sister is confirming to us that the pro prophecy that the prophecy of God has given to her is true because most of the time she'll be in a relationship everything will be fine and out of the blue the person will just go without them being fighting and she will ask herself what did she do um, ma'am confirm the issue of the marriage is it true yeah and this one she was going to shout around the one more to over serious and then comes up again to you after the girls come and look what answer this robot what they're mini our sister is also confirming the very same thing that our sister has said here that they will be in a relationship within a week or two uh, they will be having too much difference with that particular person and they'll be asking themselves what did they do and what are the other things that the woman of god has said to you mm. Again, I can but I want to progress more people in Bakar, whatever, and to get a idea, I want to progress. She's also telling us that the prophetess of God has also told her about poverty in their family, and she also told her that she's working, but there is no progress in whatever that she's doing. What are the other things that the prophetess of God has told you? And then we have a baby or in the case, Rogovayan, now Kamianga, Namianga, Abongo Maliwa. Na mkoma na wango uvu ya buwa hazi. Na ndawe ya spiritual ya spend ndizone. Ndia randishi ndwe dhele kusebe ndasa kupanga ndwe dhele na munu. 
Our sister, she's confirming to us that what the prophetess of God has told her, it is true that whatever that she has been facing of marriage, it is a generational curse because of the sisters have also faced the same very thing. And she's also confirming to us about the issue of a spiritual husband, that what she, she, she has been coming across in life, each and every time when she's sleeping, she will feel like she's sleeping with somebody. And how about you? The woman of God spoke about the spiritual husband. Yeah, it's true. Even myself, sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a she is also confirming that indeed what the prophetess of God has said is true, that at most of the time when she's sleeping, she will feel like she has been sleeping with a man, and at times she will feel like she has been fighting with that particular person. And you also got the opportunity to see the man of God. How was it? It was wow, because, it, yeah, even Lena put the same thing about marriage and, and poverty, and then Luru, how to progress more people back. She's confirming that it was wonderful because whatever that the prophetess of God has said to her, it is exactly what the man of God has also confirmed to her. And what about you? How is the experience being with the man of God? Mm. Our sister is telling us that the man of God has told her that she is fast in moving to a relationship. She must take her time and take her time to learn that particular person. And as I believe that God has heard your prayers through the prophetess of God and the man of God as they've spoken unto you, what can you say to the viewers, are they? And whatever situation or challenge by Leona, they must be strong and have faith and pray and then they, they must know that mudimo wabarata no matter what and then everything is going to be okay but we told to buy nyaka our sister is encouraging everybody there that you must never lose hope or faith. Just know that God loves you in whatever the obstacle that you're coming across in your life. What can you say to the viewers out there? Yeah. 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 Our sister is encouraging everybody that if you believe everything is possible and our problem is that we don't wait for God's time. So you must wait for God's time. Hey, am I right? Yes, thank you. Thank mm. you. You're blessed. Thank you. And also, we have our sister here who was prophesied by the prophetess of God, and she will be introducing herself to us. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name? My name is Miponi. I'm from Shemestin at Kharkview. Confirm the prophecy. All prophecy that has been said to me, it was all true. Let's break it down. Um... The woman of God spoke about you separating with your husband. Were you seeing any sign of you separating with him? Yes, I sometimes uh, saw that he was not happy and I just kept quiet about it. And he also, she also spoke about you not coming to acceptance that one day he might leave. That's very true. Mm -hmm. uh, even though I saw that he was not happy, I just thought myself that maybe he will be fine and then... It was a situation for that time, and then he will be fine after some few times or some few minutes or some few days. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he was going to be fine on any situation we were going through. And also the woman of God touched the issue of your mother. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that, one ver that one touched me very much because my mom is extremely sick because of stress. And whenever I call her, she just uh, tell me that, you know, I have stress, I have headache, and I was not aware that it was me who was stressing her. That, but the moment uh, uh, they told me that the reason your mom is sick is because of you, I just realized that because every time I call her, the next day she called and she said she's sick. Mm -hmm. Yes.
the woman of God touched the issue of you leaving the presence of God. And after you left the presence of God, things started not working out. What was really happening? I was a member of Charis. I came here with nothing. I was nobody. <laughs> things happened. I got a job. I bought a, a car. I got a husband. And then from there, I left and things started to shake after I left Charis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that my, I have to go where my blessings came from. Mm -hmm. That's why I am here today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I told Daddy about it, and he even told me the reason that you came back is because God loved you. Mm -hmm. If he didn't put you in a situation like this, mm -hmm. You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't uh, seek the, the, the face of God. Mm -hmm. But because I'm in situations, and then I came back to seek the face of God again. Mm -hmm. yes. So whatever that the prophetess of God was saying is true? Everything that she said, it was 100% true. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling very blessed. Mm -hmm. And I believe, because I always wanted and pray that one day a prophetess Tendo will prophesy me. And it happened today. And I, I have faith that everything that she said to me, doors will open. As she said, she, she's seeing uh, better things ahead. I believed her, because I always pray that one day she will prophesy me, and she did today. I'm extremely happy and feeling blessed. You must be careful of sickness. The reason why I'm saying this is because I'm just seeing different people that are coming to you. Huh? And when they come to you, they... You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So we need, you need to be careful. Otherwise, you'll be sick. And if you become sick, it's going to be a problem to your family. Amen. Because I just saw... It's like a plan of many guys that are coming to you. They, they come to sleep with you. Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? And the promotion is coming. You're Amen. Free. I receive. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. I... Can you also come, both of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Today's your day. Amen. By a fire, by a force. <laughs> by a fire, by a force. Uh, I want to... You want... He's married. No, no. Uh, you're married, eh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's married. <laughs> I'm surprised you're going with him like this. Huh? You, you, th you thought what? I thought you were saying we should go this way. No, 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 no. I want to pray for both of you. You know each other? No. Or you met here? just met here. You people have got problems. I want to pray for both of you because I just saw a spirit of disappointments. That's true. Huh? That's true. That's true. In both of you. Yes. So now, there's a spirit of disappointments. The second thing is spirit of poverty. That's true. Around you people. That's true. So I want God to help you today. Amen. You understand Amen. my point? Amen. Amen. But on you, things are worse, Mama. Huh? Okay. I want to pray for you so that God can lift you up. Amen. Because I just saw a spirit that is fighting your destiny. That's you understand true. what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that's true. And you need to pray against spiritual husband. Okay. Huh? Because there's a plan of Satan. It's like the way I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it's like when we are sleeping, I'm seeing funny, funny dreams. That's true. Huh? That's true. I'm just seeing it's like There are people that are sending snakes when you're sleeping. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Because I just saw funny, funny dreams that you're dreaming in the night. 
and they try to give you food that's true. when you are sleeping. That's true. And when you wake up, disappointments, disappointments after disappointments. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So I want to pray for you. There's something good that is coming to you. Amen. You understand me? Yes. Because I just saw you also believing in the issues of business. That's true. Huh? Yes, I'm doing business. You are doing business. Yes. But it's not moving your business. No, it's not. Huh? No, it's not. So I want to pray for both of you. Ceci, you've got the same demon. Yes, it's true. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> so I'm going to pray. God is going to help you today. Baba, let's pray for your health. Come. And where are your children? In Zimbabwe. Come here. We need to pray for you yeah. because it's like you are sick now. Okay. Huh? Okay, sir. And we also need to pray for your children. Yeah, okay, sir. Because they are suffering too much. Okay, sir. No, say yes or no. Yes. If it's false, say it's false. Yes. If it's true, say it's true. Yeah, it's true. If it's not true, say it's not true. It's true, man so of that God. that I can continue. Yeah. I saw your children. Yeah. They are suffering. Yeah, it's true, man of God. So I want to pray for them to get jobs. Yeah, it's true, man huh? of God. It's true, man of God. I want to pray God. for your children to get jobs. It's true, and man of God. I wish they were watching. I wish they were watching this so that they will hear what I'm saying to you. It's true, man of God. You understand what I'm trying to say? It's true, man of you God. You won't die until you see the success of your children. It's true, man of God. You heard me? It's true, man of God. Hey, today I'm so relaxed. Ash. So I want to pray for you today. Ash. You never went to check uh, sugar diabetes? Yeah, no, I didn't. Huh? No. You need to check it because I'm feeling your feet sometimes. Yeah. They this become one. painful. Yeah, this huh? one. Yes. So they want to use, it's like they want to use your feet to attack you. Because I'm just feeling your feet. That sometimes they become, more especially this, this one. Yeah, it's this, true. The left yeah. one. Huh? Yeah, it's true. Because I'm just hearing a pain entering and going up. It's true. It's, huh? it's swelling right now. It's swelling. Yeah. There's a demon there. Yeah, it's true. It's true, man of God. So I'll pray for you'll be healed. It's true, man because of God. Because now this, sometimes in the night, it becomes worse. Yeah, it's huh? true. It's true. I'm just hearing pain like... Yeah, like it's true, man of God. Fa, 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 fa. Listen, I'll pray for you. You'll be healed. It's you heard true. me? Amen. You'll be healed and your children will get jobs. Amen. Come out! Come out! Come. Come. Mm. Come. Where is your wife? She's in Zimbabwe. Uh, she, when, and who are you living here with? I'm living in Mozambique and she's in Zimbabwe. She's in Zimbabwe? Yeah. You never lived in South Africa? No. Huh? No. You are living in Mozambique? Yes. With who? Alone. <laughs> I want to pray for you. Yeah. You need to. Uh, I'm working in Mozambique. I know. Yeah. I want to pray for you because I'm just seeing the plan of Saturn. Yeah. How long do you... How long does it take you to go home? It's four months. You go home? Yeah. Four months. Every four months. Every four months? Yeah. Okay, allow me to pray for you, for yeah. God to heal you. Know? Yeah. But I was just worried about what I'm seeing. Yeah. This, this feet is having a serious problem. Huh? Yes. It's like you stepped on top of poison or something. Yes, man of God, I don't know.
Jesus' name. You're healed, sir. You're healed. And your children are also free. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Because you, when I looked at you, I just saw a business that you're doing. Yes. And I saw a spirit that is fighting you. This is a spirit of disappointments. Yes, that's I want true. God to bless you with a marriage. Amen. Huh? Yeah, I'm Do married. You? Yeah? Yes, I'm married. You're married? Yes. No. Where's your husband? In Zambia. Huh? In Zambia. Did he pay Lobala? Yes, he did everything. Did he finish? Yes. The reason why I'm saying this is because I just saw a lot of problems. You are right. Ish. I thought you were not. The reason why I saw, can let me show, I saw you here. I saw your husband here. You are right. Huh? Yeah, that's true. You people, you live together? Yes. I saw a lot of, it's like between you, there's, there's a huge problem. That's true. Huh? That's true. So we need to pray for that. You understand? Yes. Because the same spirit is fighting your business too much. That's true. You remember when I speak about the issue of disappointments? Yes. We need to pray against that. That's true. You understand my point? Yes. But I'm still hearing the issue of marriage. I don't know. My sister, allow me to pray for you. I'm not speak a lot of things. Okay. But I believe Holy Spirit cannot lie. We need to pray for this union between you and your husband. Okay. Huh? Okay. And where are your children? In Zambia. Ash. Ceci, marriage is coming. Yes. You heard what I said? Yeah, marriage is coming. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to pray because I'm seeing a problem here. Yes. Huh? There's pain this yeah. side, especially this side. Huh? Yes. I always feel pain this side. Yeah, you see this part? Yes, this. Huh? It's painful, this side. This, this, and sometimes it becomes worse when you're, you're going for... Yes, that's true. Huh? For my menses, that's true. When you're going for your what what cycle, I'm seeing it becomes very serious. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. And if we don't pray for this, this thing will end up moving here inside your stomach. It's like there is a... Huh? Yeah. I'm seeing... I can feel something huh? here. I can feel something in my stomach. So I want to pray for you because this thing is working against you. You understand me? That's true. Because I'm just seeing an object here that is here in your stomach, trying to turn also, making a pain here. Yes. Come out! I'm still hearing the same thing. Let's pray for marriage. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing there? My sister? I want to pray for you for your business. Okay. But this issue of marriage is very serious. Huh? Yes. I want to pray for a breakthrough in your life. Amen. Lift up your hands. She's lying to me, that's why. It's this, this, this demon. Come out, you demon. Come out. What are you doing here? Can you bring her? What are you doing here? Huh? Come out. What are you doing here? Huh? Huh? Come out. What are you doing in this lady? Huh? Come out. What are you doing here? I don't want to get married. You don't want to get married? Yes. Huh? Yes. Then who are you? Ancestor of spirits. Bring her close. Sir, come. You said you are what? Ancestor of spirits. Huh? Ancestor of spirits. So are you the one that is bringing the spirit of disappointments? Yes. Huh? Yes. For what? Who is she? Because of what? 
Who's she to become a prophetess? I don't want that. To you don't want that? Yes. She must never be what? A prophetess. Uh, and who are you? Are you God? Huh? Hmm? Come out, you snake. Come out. Come out. Come out, you snake. So, which church are you going to? Huh? From when? Palabura Luligan. Huh? In Palabura Limbo. From when? Since, since 2012. Come on, because I'm seeing a spirit. Your past, your past life is hunting you. Huh? Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. Lift up your hands. Your past life is hunting you. Yes. I destroy you today. Huh? Come out! You are many. You are what? You are many. You are many. Mm. There's a spirit, say, from before you got married. I see a spirit that has been following you. This is a spirit of lust. It's true. You must be careful. No, it's true. Come out! Yes. I destroy you today. You're free. I saw a spirit that we need to pray against this spirit because now it's working against your marriage now. It's true. You understand what I'm trying to say? I understand you what came I'm alone here. Yeah? I came with my wife. Why if you come? Ish, ish. I didn't know she's here. Ish. You know, I was trying to... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know your wife is here. So I thought we would make it as a, a secret. But thank God you are here. Amen. I want to pray for your marriage. Amen. Because this man, God wants to bless him, but I saw a spirit. His past life is hunting him. Amen. You know that? Huh? Are you away? I was not away. You are not away? Amen. Because he didn't tell you. He's a very secretive man. Come out! Where is that lady that I was praying? Come here. We need to pray against. I'm seeing dreams. Dreams. Huh? Huh? True. It's like many things that you are dreaming, they happen. That's true. Huh? That's true. I want to pray for you. Come, come here. I'm seeing you dreaming, 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 and many things that you are dreaming, they happen. Yes. Huh? That's true. So t today, from today, from today, from today. I want to say much. We need to pray for your marriage. Uh -huh. Amen. We need to pray for your marriage. Amen. Because I just saw the life of this man that is, he was not living right. Amen. From before he got married. So now that life is hunting him down. If this spirit can be able to overpower him, I'm telling you, this marriage won't stand. It's true. It's huh? true. It's true. Because I saw you people fighting in the house. Yeah, we, we, huh? we fight every week, every we month, every, every week. year, every it's day. True. That you know, when you are fighting like this, you you are having a mind of going out of the house. And it's very it's huh? hundred percent correct. I'm seeing you getting out of the house. Hundred percent correct. Come here, my friend. You came with. Alone. You came alone. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, now. Okay. The reason why I'm saying this, I'm seeing a separation that is coming. It's true. It's true. You yeah, I'm praying for business. Yeah. Huh? Yes. I'm praying for you for business. You will prosper. Amen. And the issues of marriage, this, this issue is very serious. I set you free. You're free.
let's stand against this spirit that is fighting your marriage. Amen. 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 Because you people, this man is it's like you people you are blaming each other. Huh? It's, true. it's true. It's like this one is saying this one is wrong. This one is saying this one is wrong. It's Hundred really percent. Huh? It's true. And also the issue of money it's in true. the house. It's true. You need to stand together as a husband and wife. You fight this demon. Amen. Because you know on your side there's a problem of marriage. Amen. Huh? So now God gave you this this man to defeat this enemy. It is true. Very true. So I want to pray for you. I believe there's a breakthrough today. Amen. You understand my point? Amen. Amen. Because you people, the way you fight, I. It's too much. I. You can end up killing each other. It's very true. It's too huh? much. It's true. It's true. Because I'm, I'm seeing this issue can even. I'm seeing police. You need to be careful because the way you're fighting, huh? It's true. Huh? It's so true. you're beating each other. We, we used, used to, to beat each other huh? in the in the past year. We were good, 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 good. Yeah, we will do huh? it in the past. You are breaking yeah. things in the house. Yeah, Jesus. Listen, let me tell you this. There's no marriage that is perfect. Yes. No. Huh? Yes. We learn by by the mistakes that we do. Yes. You understand my point? Right? Yes, I get you. So point. now I want to pray for you so that you people you must be together. Amen. Amen. Be together. Amen. Because you, my sister, I'm telling you, for this man to marry you, it, it's a miracle. Amen. Even Prophet huh? told me that. Even Papa told me he that. He told you that? 2015, 6, 6 February, when I got here, he uh. told me the same thing. No, I don't know you. So I'm telling you, because what I'm saying is, my prophecy to you is stop fighting. Amen. Amen. Because this man, you'll go back to his life. Because right now, as I'm speaking, he's having a mind of having a girlfriend. It's true. It's true. Ah, how do you... Because <laughs> every know? time when we're angry, he always wants to go out. That's the what reason why we are you here today is because said. we wanted to separate, so yes, we decided to come you remember what I in. said? Amen. I said when you people fight, he wants to go out. It's true. It's true. Huh? It's true. When you go out, where are you going? I, in my mind, I, I'm like, if, 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 if I can't be with her or if she, I'd rather go outside and get someone to maybe forget this problem or Don't to do get, it. Amen. Don't do it. You, you are hearing what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. Don't do it. Amen. Because this is a spirit that, this spirit wants to, you know. I know it, it, it cause, like sometimes I'll watch uh, some, some porn movies and then I will be, be in the bathroom by myself. I'll, I be, said, I'll, be, I'll be doing some You remember thing. in the beginning? Yeah, I hear what you're I saying. I said the spirit that has been there before. And when I look at I've, women, like when they pass, I always look around. I've, I've, I have this last last Give glory to women. God. We need to pray for your marriage. No? Mama? Amen. We need to pray for your marriage. Amen. The reason why I'm saying this, I just saw this. There's the issue of affection here that okay. is dying down. My sister? Yes. No? You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I understand. So we need to pray for that. Because I just saw there's a plan of Satan. They want to affect Baba. It's, it's huh? Yes, it's true. He's my brother, so I respect him. It's true. So they want to affect him. Mm. I don't know if you understand my point. We understand. Huh? We, we understand. You understand what I'm trying mm. to say? You know it. Yes. So now let's pray also against the disease. Huh? Yeah. Because I'm just seeing you becoming very weak. It's true. Huh? It's true. You become very weak. And now if this thing continues like this, this can kill this marriage. It's true. But I believe today there will be a restoration. Amen. Amen. No divorce. What are you doing here? Huh? Are you the one that is destroying this marriage? Huh? 
Are you destroying the marriage? Hmm? Come out! Why are you destroying this marriage? Huh? Because I don't want them to be together. You don't want what? I don't want them to be together. You want you don't want them to be what? To be together. To be together. Yes. And who are you? Huh? Who are you? Hmm? I'm saying who are you? Talk. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Talk. My brother, come in. You need to be also serious about your salvation. Huh? It's true. You don't drink alcohol sometimes. I don't drink alcohol. You must be I careful. used to drink alcohol, but sometimes when I recently I thought That's why I'm saying you need, you need to be serious with your salvation. Amen. Because I'm seeing you going back to the life that you're living. Amen. Because you are tempted too much. The minute you fight with this woman, you th there are many things that are coming it, to your it's mind. It's true. A lot of things huh? comes into my mind. I think of... Because you people, when you're coming, you're coming for this thing. It's true. The it's issue true. of fighting in the house. Yeah, because we decided on Tuesday. That's when I told her I, we need to go to Charis on, on Friday. I God of Charis has helped you today. Amen. Amen. Spirit of masturbation, come out! Come out! You're free. Come out! Come out, you spirit! Come out, you dirty spirit! Come out! I'm going to pray for you. You know, sometimes because everything, I'm polishing these things. There are some Amen. certain things we can't say them here. Come out! Come out! So, you people. Do... <laughs> so, when you are. Doing like this, she's also doing like this. Huh? Yeah, we used to do like that, but now we just fight without doing like that. But Come then she will, if I do, she will also do the same thing. We'll be pulling each other with her clothes. I remember also she once hit me with a broomstick. I also have a scar here. That's why I said you need to stop this thing because I'm seeing police. If you continue with this, police will come there. Because you, you also have a problem of short temper. Very much. If every week, if, if, any small thing, any small, I'm surprised. It makes you angry. Every small thing, every day, every second, every small thing, I just get angry out of the blue. Sometimes this, ask myself. This is a spirit that they've given you. This spirit, they don't want you to, to have a wife. Yeah. You understand my point? Yeah, and I get that. They're they are making you to be like this so that you must never have a wife. Yeah. And from, child, from childhood, I used to be angry with everything. Even if my parents, if they were to correct me, I will be angry and I will sit at the corner by myself, crying, being angry. Today God has set you free. Amen. You are free forever. Amen. Amen. Come out! You demon. You demon. <laughs> Leave this lady. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. Eh? You understand me? Yes. I want God to make you an example in your family. Come in. Did you hear what I said? Yes. I said God must make you what? An example. An example. Mm -hmm. You know by doing what? Serving him. Do you know by what? My heart. Do you know how are you going to be an example? 
By saving God. Huh? By saving God. Huh? Do you hear what I said? Yes. By what? By saving God. By what? Saving God. I want God to give you a car. Jesus. You heard what I said? Yes. Huh? Yes. The reason why I'm saying this is because many people in your family, they are not a, they are, it's like they're gossiping you. So now if you become an example, they will be able to shut up. Amen. Because you, you told yourself you want to follow God. Yes. Huh? Yes. You want to do the will of God. Amen. That's what you told yourself. Yes. But I want to pray for you. Something good is coming. Thank you. You heard Lord. what I said? I said from myself. Amen. Me. I'm speaking like Elijah. I want God to give you a car. Thank you, Jesus. Always. Yes. This car will come from the issues of business. Amen. You understand? Amen. Because you've been having a mind of let me do business, let me do business. Huh? Amen. So now you'll do this business. After this business, you'll see what it, what will happen to you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying for you for connections. Jesus, mighty name. Jesus' name. So in the night, you wake up and pray. Huh? No. Why, why not? You must pray. Amen. Because you're lazy. <laughs> you're lazy to pray. In Jesus' name. You people, you're free. You're free. You, you're also free. There's a business that is coming to you. Hold my hand. You're free. You're free. You, I said you must be careful of sickness. Please. Wait. Huh? Wait. I just okay. saw. I saw the issue of sugar diabetes. Okay. You understand me? Amen. So that the enemy want to afflict you with. But I believe we'll pray for you and you, you'll defeat this, this, this Amen. problem. Because um, this issue of weakness is also, I'm hearing here. Amen. You see from my back here? Yeah. I'm hearing some funny, funny things. Mm. Huh? It does. Huh? Yes. So now I'll pray for you. God will heal you. You understand my point? Amen. Because sometimes you become tired very fast. Amen. So my sister. You're going to enjoy your marriage from today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Out. But we need to pray because many people from your family, they're standing against this lady. It's true. Huh? My it's sister. true. Do you know that? Yes. Yes, I know. You know? Yes. That many people from his family, they don't want you. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's I true. know. So I want to pray for you, for you people, so that your marriage can stand. Amen. Because Amen. many people, I'm seeing many people that are gossiping this lady. And this lady you've been given by God. It's true. Yeah? It's true. I'm telling you, you've been given by, do you see how beautiful she is? It's true, it's a confirmation. They do always say, me and you are the same. <laughs> So even me, I'm saying the same. Me and you, are, we're ugly. He said so to He said so? Yeah. Give glory to God. <laughs> ah, I don't know that. You know, sometimes I, I love to hide some things because I'm speaking on TV. But I believe God is going to bless you today. It's true. Amen. So now I'll pray for you. I just saw a large number of people that are standing against this woman in your family. It's true. Yes, so, and they are not even hiding it. Others. They are not hiding it. <laughs> we know. They want you people to separate. 
We know. We huh? they don't hide it. We know. They don't hide it. Mm. Uh -huh. I want to reverse whatever that they've been saying. You understand what I'm trying Jesus to say? Name. By the name that is above all names, I'll reverse this thing. Amen. Amen. Because they've been kissing this lady a lot. So I want to pray for you, for you people to be to stand together. Amen. Mm -hmm. You must be careful of cancer. You hear uh, what I'm saying? Yes. When I'm praying for you like this, you are healed. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because of this. Can I do like this? Hmm? Are you still feeling the pain? No, this side, it's not. It was affecting also this side. Both sides? Yeah, it was affecting this. I don't know what they call them, but I'm just seeing some... They call them, I'm just seeing white things. Small, I don't know. In Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name. You're free, you're free. You people, you're free. You're free. You're free. Oh, who's left? Mama, let's pray for you. You came with who? And you, you came with who? Uh, you, you came with who? Hey, hey, you mean which one? This one? Come, come, all of you. You came with Mama? I thought they are, they are your children. My boy is not here. So you came together? Hmm? Hmm? No, I'm not denying. You came with her? Okay. Is she your sister? Yeah, my sister. I'm coming to you. <laughs> we need to pray for you. I think you're coming. Oh, you're not coming for the second time? It's the second time today, Ash. yes. You see the second people that are coming? Okay, let me be short. We need to pray for you. Okay. Uh, issues of marriage. Yes. Huh? Yes. Because I just saw disappointments. Yes, that's true. Huh? That's true. I just saw disappointments that are following you. And we also need to pray for your child. Yes, that's also true. So, so that he needs to, he needs to be serious. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. I want him to grow, you know, following the things of God. Amen. Because Amen. there's a plan of Satan. Amen. Against his life. Amen. So I want to pray for you to stop this. Because I just saw this is a problem of your family. You know, Amen. when they marry, they divorce. Actually, they don't get married. Huh? Nobody. No I was one. the only one. I'm just seeing a plan of Satan. That even if you marry, because you, there was a man who, that was very close. Yes, I, I huh? got married. That's why I'm in Europe. Huh? That's why I'm living in Europe. I'm I was talking married. about you. Yes. I don't say they marry, they divorce. This is the spirit of your family. Yes, that's true. No? That's true. You were married. You got divorced. Yes. So now this is the plan that even if they marry, there must be a divorce. You understand? Yes. But I understand. Uh, currently now, when they meet people, they face disappointments. Yes, that's true. You understand? Yes, that's they correct. They meet people that, you know, they promise them to do something, but later... It was shot before marriage. Huh? It was shot before marriage, and then he says no. He decided otherwise. The enemy want them to have, because I'm just seeing ladies, the enemy want them to have children. Yes, that's true. Have children outside of marriage. That's very true. Huh? That's very true. So, but I want no, I God understand. to help you today, and Amen. you and your family. Amen. You understand me? Amen. That's why I said I'm seeing a marriage from there. It's like that's the plan of Satan. Glory Satan wants you people to get married. From there, you divorce. That's why you, you got married, boom, divorce. When you look at these other ones, even if they get married, there will be a divorce. Hmm. That is the plan of Satan. So now I'll pray for you to stop this whole thing. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name. Jesus Christ. 
Jesus' mighty name. You're free. My name is Mepela. I'm from Botswana. I received the prophet from Andres. What he said, it is true. Can you please break it down to us? He spoke about the pain that you're feeling on your side. That's true. I always feel those pain. It is like there is, an, there is something which is moving their side. Especially when I'm in my menses, that's when I feel that pain. It is so much, you know. How did it affect you? Okay, what, what, this, what this pain does, I can't even sit. I can't even sleep because of this pain. I've prayed, I've done everything, but the pain still consists. The prophet of God also spoke about marriage. Tell us about that. Yes, I've faced a lot of disappointment, really. When I was coming here, I said, please, Father, just have mercy upon me. What would really happen? Really, I don't know. I would just get in a relationship then. Something would just... I don't know what to say. It would just go wrong. I don't know. But I don't know what to say, really. But uh, I would just face a disappointment, in short. The man of God also spoke about dreams, the dreams that you come across when you are sleeping. Is it true or not? Yes. Most of the things which I dream, it is true. And, it is, and in most cases, it is always coming to pass in most cases. And how are you feeling as the man of God has prayed for you? I feel much better. I feel like something left me. You also saw the apostle. How was it? Yes, that one. He said like the same thing. He said like, I'm called as a prophetess, which is true. I also saw it in my dream. Because there is this, most of the things which I dream, it's come to to pass. And also, what did he say to you? He revealed like marriage, the same thing. So I really came here for marriage and for my calling. But I just, but by the grace of God, everything was revealed. How are you feeling right now? I feel so happy. What can you say to the viewers out there? I just want them to encourage, you know, to draw them closer to God. Everything happens for a reason. I remember the scripture, Romans 8, verse 32. He said, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up, up for us all, how will he not also along with him? Graciously. We thank you so much. I believe that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And my sister, can you please uh, introduce yourself to us? Uh, I'm Angela Njovu, uh, coming from Zambia. Come from the prophecy that you received from the prophet of God today. Well, the man of God said it's the truth. Yeah, he talked about the spirit of disappointment. Yeah, I can confirm that. Uh, whenever I like find a job, I'll just lose it like that. Whenever I try to do business, I'll lose it. The longest period I could work is just two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after two years, then I'll be just home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The man of God, when he was prophesying you, he kept on emphasizing about your marriage, your marriage and your marriage. What was really happening in your marriage? Yeah, the marriage issue, yeah, that's the truth. I confirm the prophets to be true. I have challenges in my marriage, and I also say that he's seeing my husband this side and me that side. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Every marriage have challenges, as he said, but yours, he kept on emphasizing what was really happening. To tell you the truth, I don't know. Sometimes we just quarrel, then we stop talking to each other for a week. Then after that, again, we'll start. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he also spoke about your business. Yes, right now I'm doing business. I'm owning a shop. Yeah, it's a boutique stroke a salon. Yeah, that's so what was really happening in that business? Was it going up and down? Yeah, it's going up and down. Yeah, some people would come in my shop, get stuff, and just run away without paying me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the man of God, when he was praying for you, a spirit manifested, or he said that a spirit of a snake, and he spoke about you having bad dreams. Were you dreaming snakes? Yes, 
sometimes he has a good dream about snakes and he also talked about the spiritual husband. Uh, to confirm that, I, at one point I had a dream. I saw a man coming out of me and he was like standing before me and he was introducing himself to say he's the spirit, spiritual husband. Yeah, I can confirm that. So whatever that the prophet of God has told you is true. Very true. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also the prophet, uh, he, he told us about you in the dreams, all these bad dreams that you were having. How did they affect your life? They have affected me negatively. Nothing is moving well in my life. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have seen the man of God, the apostle. How was the experience and what did he say to you? It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he also talked about my marriage. Mm -hmm. He said he's seeing the ministry in my marriage. Mm -hmm. And the devil doesn't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not careful, uh, he's, he's so divorced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the prophet of God kept on emphasizing about your marriage, he knew that it's true because of the prophet of, of God, Apostle, has told you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the apostle also say that uh, I have a calling and I'm in deliverance ministry. Yeah, I confirm that. I Back home, I did some few deliverance. I can confirm that. Yes. As I believe that the almighty God has done it for you, what can you say to the viewers out there? The only advice I can give to the viewers is just to hold on to God. God never fails. God loves everyone. We give glory to Jesus for your life. I believe that as you are here, God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Amen. And also here with us, you are with the couple that was prophesied by uh, Prophet Simona, and they'll be confirming the prophecy, whether it was true or not. So can you please tell us your name and introduce the lady next to you? Okay. My name is uh, Vixim Giba. Uh, we come from Palabura, and the lady standing next to me, she's my wife. So yes, I can confirm the prophecy to be true. What the uh, prophetess uh, Andrew said, that yes, I have um, uh, a, uh, a spirit of lust. Yes, it's something which I've been struggling with. And in most cases in the house, when we have challenges with my wife and we fight, and the next thing which comes into my head is go out, maybe look for someone and then just get yourself happy and then things will go, get back to normal. So it's, it's, it's a thing which runs every time and whenever, whenever I'm walking around I see ladies in, in tight pants and nicely dressed I just I just have a feeling for them I just last over them I just I just want to I just like what I see in them but I, I'll be asking myself why am I like this every time when I look at a women passing by I just want to look at them and he also mentioned the issue of of temper yes he said I do have a lot of temper and when I recall growing up I remember when we met I used to say to myself I, I, this is who I am. I have been born like this with my temper, so it is my temper. But when I started going to church, I realized this is wrong. But it's, it's still in me because any small things, it triggers this anger. Every small, and we fight every week, in and out. We quarrel, we fight. Sometimes we go for a week without talking to each other. Then we come back and speak to each, to each other for a day or two. And then the next thing, there's a fight, and then we keep quiet, and then we don't talk to each other. For So it was not nice at all. It's never been nice. Our marriage has never been nice. It's always ups and downs in, in, in the house. Yeah. So the, the, the prophecy, yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. The prophet of God spoke about um, you leaving the house at most time when you fight with your wife, and he has also spoke about seeing you guys fighting each other. Yes. Um, the, yes, in the past, we will struggle against, against each other. You find that we, I, 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 I grab her and then we push each other against the wall. We onto each other and, and, and stuff like that. So we, we, we managed to, 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 to stop like, uh, fighting physically, but verbally, we'll, we'll continue fighting uh, verbally. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the, conf the prophecy is true, yes. How are you feeling right now as the prophet of God was able to tell you what you were really coming across in your life? It's a, it's awesome. It's, I feel much, I'm very much excited because I normally see this on, on, on TV, uh, mm -hmm. prophets prophesying, and I was like, ah, will I ever get to a point where someone or God will speak through someone concerning my life? So I'm very much happy. I'm very much, very much happy. This is awesome. It has never happened to me. And as I was, it was as I was listening to what you were saying to me, I was like, yes, this God, this is you speaking. Mm -hmm. And I believe, yes, we are in this place. Yes. You saw uh, the apostle. 
on on one on one how was the experience and what did it say to you the experience was was great it was awesome it was out of this 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 world because he touched our marriage the first thing he said i, I do not see any marriage here and immediately i knew that yes our marriage is, is falling apart and he mentioned that he sees a ghost between the two of us in between of us so yes he, he i confirm uh, what the apostle said and he said he will see us after that he will give us counseling because definitely also after the deliverance our marriage needs needs counseling yes and one other thing the uh, the prophet andrews what he, he spoke about if i can go back he spoke about my salvation he says he said i need to be serious about my salvation it got to a point where i thought this christianity thing it's, it's useless i i think i'm gonna quit because I, I think it was last week we were driving a, past there's a tent somewhere that, that where you come from there's a ministry there so when we're driving past our center you know when i look at the tent i just get disgusted i don't know why it never used to be like that but like now when i just see people going in the house of the lord i just felt dis disgusted and sometimes when i'm going through the public channels maybe i'm on Ch Charles tv or i'm on emmanuel tv or i'm on youtube and i just if i go through and then i just quickly change the channel so i was getting worried as to why out of a sudden I'm starting to dislike or to, to, to hate such. That is why this, this Tuesday I said to her, no, 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 let's, let's, let's go there. I can't take it anymore. Yes. Ma'am, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received from the prophet of God today? Uh, firstly, I would like to confirm the prophecy that I received from the, from the Apostle Deji. Because when he, we had our session, one-on-one -on -one session, first thing he touched was our marriage. He said he doesn't see us married. He see divorce in us and that he saw a ghost between us. And I confirmed it to be true because the reason why we are here today is because we need the salvation of our soul. We need our marriage to be restored. So that, was, that, that is what brought us here because we nearly separated. But my husband insisted that we must come here because we, love, we know we love each other. So, but we had constant fight every time. So on Tuesday, my husband decided, why don't we go to, it's not something which was planned. No one know at home we are here. We decided to come here on our own. So as daddy was talking there, I confirmed the prophecy to be true because the main thing which brought us here is for our marriage to be restored. So I confirmed the prophecy to be true. So even, uh, um, the prophecy we received from Prophet Andres, I confirm it to be true because my husband had a problem of anger and he wouldn't admit that he's got anger issues. So every time when he fight, he would get angry every time. And when we are angry, he would decide to drive around. So it's one thing which was worrying me because when you are angry and you decide to leave, something bad might happen to you. So every time when we are fighting, I would always tell him, let's sit at home try and resolve our issues because you never know what the devil will do to you outside because that is the plan of the devil every time when we fight he just wants to destroy people because the aim of the devil is to still kill and destroy so this is what was happening in my marriage so out of everything financially he mentioned um, our finances that we are facing uh, challenges in our finances there are so many things which we wanted but we couldn't reach there but I thank God because today we have been delivered and everything that we have been wanting in our life, the restoration of our marriage, what we've wanted to happen in our marriage, is going to happen. Whatever we've been lacking financially, God has restored our financial issues. So I'm happy that we are here today because we have found our deliverance and the fact that Daddy said he wants to, to see us and cancel us because there's a lot happening in our marriage. So I confirm everything to be true and thank God for us for being here today. Can you please confirm this? The prophet of God said to you that it is a miracle for you to be married. And you said it's true. Why did you say it's true? Okay. In 2015, I was here. 2015, 6 February, I was here. I came here with my parents. So when we were on one-on-one -on -one session, daddy said to me, I see you are married. I said, yes, I am married. So... I w I'm not going to be ashamed to say this. And daddy said to me, I don't see you respecting your husband. Your husband loves you so much, but you don't respect him. I see you've got a spirit of pride. And I confirm that to be true. Because I wouldn't respect my husband. And sometimes I couldn't say sorry to my husband, even though, though I know I have done something wrong. So daddy said to me, I see 
there are certain things that you want in your life, but you're not going to get them until you, 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 you decide in your heart that the spirit of pride must be out of you and the fact that you must go and respect your husband. So you are blocking this because of these two things. So he said to me, when you get home, you must go and kneel down firstly before your husband and say sorry to him. You must go and be submissive to your husband. You must go and, 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 and respect your husband. So by doing that, God is going to give you a job. That's what he prophesied to me. It was in February when he said this to me. So much I came here and testified because daddy said to me, you are going to, pro if you can do this, you are going to prosper 10 times more. And I see you coming back to give a testimony after doing this to your husband. So when I got home, I did all those things that daddy instructed me to do. It was in February. So in March, I came here to give a testimony because I knew that when daddy spoke that I'm going to prosper 10 times more. After going to say those two things to my husband, I received my job. So I know I still have nine more uh, 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 things that are going to happen in my life. Because since daddy said I'm going to prosper ten times more, there's still nine more coming because I've already received my job now. How are you feeling right now? Because already you have a testimony of your previous visit here in Charis Missionary Church. Uh, I would like to say that I know the prophet doesn't just speak. When a prophet speaks, something happens. So by coming here today and opening our heart to Christ and to the apostle and the prophecies that we have received from the, the, the prophet, I feel very much happy because I know f for us coming here and opening our heart and, and confirming whatever that has been said to us, our marriage is being restored. We are going to live a happy life ever. Say, as I believe that today it is the day that the Lord has made for you. And you said a powerful point that you never thought that a prophet can come to you and tell you what has been happening in your life. And by the grace of God, God was able to use the prophet to speak unto your life. And I believe that has brought hope and faith in your life that indeed prophecy is alive. What can you say to other viewers out there who still don't believe in prophecy and who are having many obstacles in, in their lives and some men, they are, when they are coming across what you came across, all they think about it is to divorce. I believe that you are in a right position to encourage them. What can you say? Uh, what I can say is, uh, you know, in every challenge that you meet, mm -hmm. do not run away from God. Uh, run to God because God is a solution to all the fundamental problems that we encounter in life. So put your hopes in Christ and if you know that you've accepted Christ before and you know that uh, it, you start to dislike or you start to hate the things of Christ, run to God because now it, it means that the battle is it's big for you. So you need a highly anointed servant of God to help you with that. So you, the best thing you can do for yourself is to run to God. Seek for a church which is living and then God will deliver you from all the challenges. And for, for everyone out there who does not believe in prophecy, mm -hmm. yes, prophecy exists. God is still speaking through his servants. Mm -hmm. So if, if you need to hear the word of God or the voice of God, I can say to, 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 to our fellow brethren out there, yes, go to a, a living church or come to Charis Missionary Church. Today, I, I've been here in South Africa. Yes, I, I, I'm a South African resident. But today, for the first time, I, I heard God speaking to me Amen. directly through his servants. Amen. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm saying to you, yes, come and seek the face of God, and God will meet your needs. Hallelujah. Amen. So the you are coming for the second time. Okay, stand up also. Let's pray. I don't know. You've got a church? Uh, I'm serving under a church. Huh? I'm serving under a church, but I have, uh, we gather uh, in some sort of home cell. I'm seeing you talking too much. I huh? I'm seeing you talking a lot. Huh? Yes. You preach? I preach. Huh? Yes. I want God to help you because that's what you're crying for. Amen. On the issues of... You need a direction Amen. in the things of the Spirit. Amen. Huh? That's true. But there's a problem. The problem that I'm seeing is... Sorry. I know you want God to use you. I'm going to give you a direction today. You understand my point? Yes, sir. 
but we need to pray against this because I'm just seeing that in your church where you're coming from we need to pray against that church also I'm talking about the church you're serving under yes one of the things we need to pray against wrong people that will rise up. I'm talking about people that will stand against the church and destroy the church. You, I don't know, Hush. You know, sometimes I, when I'm speaking like this, I'll be thinking about if I say this, what will your spiritual father say? I don't know if you understand me. I don't understand. You understand my position? Yes, sir. I'll be thinking if I say this, what is that your father is going to say? Because you've been crying, 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 asking God for the grace that you've been seeing here. Huh? Hmm? It's true. But I met God here. You did what? I met God at Charis. <laughs> That's true. So I want to pray for you, for God to use you. Amen. But more so, let's pray so that God can start talking with you. Amen. It will make things more easier in what you're doing. But be careful of the attacks. Because I'm just seeing funny, funny people that are around you. Amen. But I want to pray for you. What I'm saying to you is, I'll pray for you, and what you've been crying for is going to happen from today. Amen. Do you understand my point? Yes, sir. Because you want to prophesy. True. Sir, marriage issues. I want to pray for you. I don't know, where's your wife? At home. Hush, come. Are you a pastor? No. You don't preach? Yes. Come. The reason why I called you together is because you almost have the same thing. Where are you preaching? I am not yet preaching. You don't preach? Yeah. Huh? Yes. You don't preach anyway? No, I'm only having a church which I'm attending. You preach there? No. You don't preach? No. Uh, but I was told that I will be involved in such work. You were told what? I was told that I will preach here last year. Uh, I want to tell you the same thing. There's no need for me to waste time. You'll preach. Okay. You heard what I said? Because you've been praying for... for I mean, this is something that... is something of a long time ago. That is true. Huh? That when is you're true. you're still very young. That is true. Uh, we can't waste time now. That is true. Let's not waste time. And also, it was supposed to be preached a long time ago. Let me not waste time. You'll preach in Jesus' name. And from today, I'm praying for you so that you can hear from God. That because is what it I was mean. happening a long time ago. Huh? Yes. Long time. Let's, I'm, I'm taking you back. Huh? Long time ago. And... <laughs> He's a very shy man. He's, he's very quiet. And for you to be married also it is the grace of God. <laughs> because for him to, you know, uh, it's a problem. So God is going to use you. I'm going to pray for you. And this thing will happen. Okay. Huh? I can't waste time. Because you prophesied already. For last year. Huh? That is true. You got prophecy last year, so we can't repeat one thing. You are free. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hand. But let's pray against poverty in the house. Okay. You understand me? Yes. Because I'm just seeing a spirit there that is trying to make you people suffer. Okay. Are you saying, is it true or what? You're saying, okay. <laughs> Do 
Go and preach. You're called for that. I want to pray for you. Amen. Allow me to touch your eyes. Because when you're coming here, your major thing is direction from God. It's true. What is it that you must do? Amen. You understand me? I'll pray for you and something is about to happen. <coughs> Look at me. Jesus, my name. Bring him. You heard what I said? I made things short. Go and preach. People are dying. Come on! But I'm also, the reason why I'm speaking about your wife, your marriage, your marriage, yeah. you also need to pray for it. Okay. So that this lady can have more understanding like you. That is true. In the things of God. That is true. Oh, now it's true now. No longer okay. <laughs> Come on! Because the reason why I'm saying this, she's taking time to, to adjust. Exactly. Huh? To be like you is difficult. Exactly. Come on! Be anointed. So I have prayed for you. God will help her. Okay. Because that's one of your worries. That is true. Huh? You're worried too much about this woman. Yes. That, you know, it's like she's not... It's like you people, you're not like this. That is true. In the issues of the spirit. That is true. She goes this way, I go You're this going way. there, she's going there. That is true. Okay. Jesus' name. Jesus, mighty name. So today, after I prayed for you like this, God will touch your mind. Thank you. To join you in prayer. You are free. You. Thank you. You are also free, sir. <coughs> Mama? Do you have a small child? Come here. Jesus. Do you have a small, small child? Huh? One year, six months. One year, six months. We need to pray for that child. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. There's a plan of Satan against this child. Because I'm just seeing this child is crying in a very funny way. You people, you must pray where you're sleeping. You understand me? Yes, sir. You must do what? Pray. You must pray. I don't know, where's your husband? Midrand. In Midrand. We also need to pray for him. Okay. Did you hear what I said? Yes. We also need to pray for you people. Where is he going to church? Which church is he going to? Sometimes he came here. Sometimes he comes here. Sometimes he goes away. Doesn't he doesn't go to church. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We need to pray for him. Because he's... When I was speaking with that man, that's why I came to you there. It's like to him, the, the wife, the problem. One of the things of God. So now... Holy Spirit showed me you there that we also need to pray for your husband. You understand me? Yes, sir. So I want to pray for you and I want to pray for your, the whole of your family. And I want to pray for this baby. Okay. You understand my point? 
Yes, sir. So from today, God will touch his heart. Because for him, these days to come to is difficult. Huh? Okay. When was the last time he, he, he came to church? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know? Let me pray for you. Because I'm speaking with you. You're doing like this. All day. I'll do what you're doing like this. You don't even hear what. That's why now I don't want to speak more. I want to pray for you. Because I'm speaking with you, you're putting your hands like this in your pockets. You're free. Okay. My name is Muroma from Lesotho. The prophecy which I was given is 100% correct. Mm -hmm. And it has been said several times that uh, I will one day preach. It has been in my heart ever since I was a child. But it was a matter of direction. I did not know which direction to take. So that's it. When the man of God said that I'm taking you a long, long back. What did you remember? I remember I felt interested in God's issue. I think I was six years old. In my family, there were these Bibles. I used to read and I would be so touched. Even though at that time, I didn't really understand, but I could feel it in me. And then when I was doing my high school, I remember I was doing my Form B. I told my parents that uh, I want to go and be a priest because I was attending school in a Roman Catholic mm -hmm. high school. Mm -hmm. But along the way, now when I was finishing my schooling, I realized the problem. Because that was the only church which I was exposed to then, I found the difference between what was preached and the, the actual life of people. And so that really discouraged me and I dropped the issue of that dream. Then I went to Facity and yeah, everything is true. You think about my wife because even when I got married to her, I told her that I was a priest then because that was the only word which I knew. She actually knows that even now. Now, when it comes to her, yes, it is true that we are not speaking the same language. But lucky enough, she has never complained when I moved around following these churches. I think it's a perception which maybe how the so-called born-again churches were brought to her. So I think that is where the problem is, but I think everything is okay today. Mm -hmm. And the prophet of God said that it is difficult for your wife to be on the same level with you. That is true. Because at the moment, she together with my kids, she will be going the other direction, I will go in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Really, I don't want to force her because I knew that one day she will understand. Mm -hmm. Because I kept on reminding her what I told her at first when we met. So I think she will come to join me one day. So you understood everything that the prophet of God said to you? That is true. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understood everything because it has been said to me a hundred times. Mm -hmm. And even in today, I came to hear directly which direction and mm -hmm. how to start this uh, journey. Hallelujah. I don't want to start on my own again. And he also spoke about the spirit of poverty. What's happening at home or what was really happening? <laughs> that one, I don't know, maybe because I'm very much concerned about this issue. That one I am not, I don't know because right now when I look at the situation, I think I have everything which 
a human being needs to live on. Because I am working, my wife is working, and we have almost everything. And I don't know now, maybe I, I didn't understand all that. I might have ignored some vital issues. You saw Apostle on a one-on-one -on -one session, and you spoke about him giving you a direction on how to start this journey. How was the experience? No, he also repeated on that issue, but he promised to see me so as to guide me on how to move forward. How are you feeling? I'm very excited because that is the only thing which I'm living for. I'm very, very, I, I feel uh, fulfilled, actually. What can you say to other viewers out there, especially to servants of God? I think people must look for God. You know, sometimes when you have been told or you have been given a prophecy, we tend to depend on ourselves and we tend to move ahead of the Spirit of God. So I think it's good if we can, if we can wait upon the right time so that we don't make mistakes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Stay blessed. Thank you. And also here with us, you are with one of the people who were prophesied by Prophet Andrews, and they'll be confirming the prophecy that they received today. So can you please introduce yourself to us? Uh, my name is Philip. I'm from Namibia. Mm -hmm. uh, the prophet had uh, confirmed to me that I, I, I've been crying to be used by God, and uh, it is true. And he just confirmed it. And um, he was also, he was telling me that we, he needs to pray for the church that I'm serving in because uh, of the wrong people that are going to come up. And uh, that also is true. There is a lot of people that are speaking negative about the church and stuff like that. And uh, the reason why I came is because I needed direction in uh, the spiritual work because... Um, uh, before I started serving at the church, I, 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 I attended the conference of, um, it was a crusade of, of charities that took place in Namibia mm -hmm. in 2016. That's where I, I got prayed for uh, for the first time by, by Apostle Makananisa. And he prayed for me that I received God as my personal savior. And he also, I was facing a lot of challenges in life. And he, he explained to me to say that um, what he's seeing is a gap of what I was supposed to have felt. And uh, if I ever have to accept God, it will close up and a lot of things will happen in my life. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I got here and uh, my desire that I was always up for is, is confirmed today. The prophet of God spoke about you crying for the grace that is in this place. It's true. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult now to, uh, to say why, but like I said, mm -hmm. I met God at Charis, mm -hmm. and every time I felt empty, I, I always came back. I was also here um, uh, in 2017. Mm -hmm. I was also here um, in February this year, and I came back now again. Amen. And I'll be coming back again. Amen. Yeah. And he said, one of your desire, it is to prophesy. Is it true? It's true. It's true. Uh, I, I, I saw myself do this thing for, for, for some reason. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I also remember the last time I came... Um, uh, I came to, to Charis last year. I, 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 I told my wife that uh, I was going to give her a gift that no one had ever given her. And then she asked me what it was, but I, I couldn't explain what it is. And, and then she asked me, where is it coming from? I told her, I don't know, I just said it, and uh, it will happen. And then I got here for one-on-one, -on -one, and then when the man of God saw me, he asked me where your wife was. And then I said, no, she was still in Namibia on her way to Jobek, but uh, 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 yeah, she'll be here. And then he said, I need her to come here. But then the whole time when I came, uh, I, we were, we were, the reason why she stayed behind is because our finances were not so well that we could come and have the session, but she received that session for free. I believe that was the gift that I told her. Yeah. 
So as the man of prophet of God told you that your desire it is to prophesy, when you are seeing him and the prophet is prophesying, how do you feel? It's the grace of God that is sufficient in this house. I, I, I've never doubted anything of this house since, since uh, the first time I met this man. So uh, every time I came, I, I, always, you know, I always looked forward to, to the whole prophecy thing. And, and uh, I, my question was just how was I going to come forward to say that uh, uh, maybe I should request for more anointing, just like the rest of the people of the house. But uh, the last time I came here, uh, uh, Prophet Makanis, um, Apostle Makananisa told me to say that I have a calling over my life and uh, it, 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 it will kick off. And yeah, I, I'm here, I'm confirming to it because I keep preaching to the people when I see them I start preaching. How was the experience being with the man of God once more again? Uh, uh, he's an amazing man. He's uh, truly used by God. And he's always telling things that are there. So he, he said to me that uh, God wants to use me in the prophetic. But the only issue that is there is that um, the enemy is using the weaker link, which is my wife, to, to work against what I'm trying to achieve. But well, a lot of things has happened and I was confused. I didn't understand why, why would God want to use me and yet there is a person that is uh, not supporting, supportive of me. I mean, we should be able to work together as a husband and wife, but she was uh, a little bit out of the way. But I mean, I'm here now. I'm, I, I feel I'm delivered and uh, we will publish that here. Before we forget, the prophet of God spoke about you being careful with tongues. With? Tongues. I, my tongues don't even come out. I don't know. I didn't public. <laughs> yeah. So what did you understand by him saying, be careful with tongues? Yeah, I was a little bit confused also. I don't, I don't really understand what he meant. But I'll be careful. I, I guess I just have to pray against it. And then uh, hopefully I will see what he was trying to explain to me. What can you say to the viewers out there? God, God is the only way. Through Christ, everything is, is possible. We ask, we receive. Yeah. Baba, we need to pray for you. Eh? Amen. We need to pray for you. Yes. There's a certain spirit that is trying to visit you. Yes. Huh? Yes. And this spirit, when it's coming there, is trying to sleep with you. Yes. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, men of God. And after this spirit is doing whatever that is doing, everything shuts down. Yes, men of God. You yes, my you point? are right. So now, to me, when I'm looking at you, I'm just seeing a spirit of disappointment. Yes, men of God. A spirit that is entering where you are sleeping. Yes, man of God. And sometimes the spirit is giving you bad dreams. Exactly, man of God. You understand? Yes. So now I want to pray for you because everything that you want to do, there's no breakthrough. Exactly. You are right. So now there's a breakthrough today. Amen. I receive. You understand? I receive. Because on the issues of marriage also. Ah. <laughs> I'm just seeing disappointments. Yes. Every time. Every time. Ah. Is this man that is coming there to try to sleep with you? Yes. Today there's a breakthrough I receive, in your life. I receive. I receive. Yes. When you go back it's, home, mm. uh, new life has begun today. Yeah. You understand me? Yes. Because you, you are a very good-hearted woman. Exactly, man of God. For me, you're supposed to be very far with life. Yeah, man. Even on the issues of marriage. Exactly. So I want to promise you something. There's a breakthrough. I receive. So I'll pray for you. I want the spirit to stop visiting you. Amen. You understand me? Amen. Because it's... We need to pray for the whole... Where is your mom? At home, in we, Malam Lel. We need to pray for your mom. Exactly. Because I'm, I wanted to pray for you, but the Holy Spirit is telling me that we need to pray for your mom. Yo, exactly, man of God. Because she's sick. 
Exactly. Huh? Yes. So after I pray for you, your mom will be healed. I receive. Yes. Who are you working, sir? Sasol. Huh? Sasol. Sasol Garage. I want God to make you an example in your family. Yes. Do I know you? No, you don't know me. But you look like I know you. But I know you in the spirit, I don't know. We need to pray because I want God to make you an example. Yes. So you're doing what? You're poor? Uh... Um, I'm doing a uh, pastry chef, the baking inside. In the, in the garage? In the garage, but in the shop. In the, in the uh, shop? Yes, I'm baking there. I want to give you two months. Amen. I receive. I want to give you two months to get a better job. I receive. I'm telling you. I receive. And after this, I'm seeing a car. I receive. You see, I'm speaking this and there's nothing. Nothing at all. Zero. There's zero. The reason why I'm saying this, you are zero. You are right. So I want God to make you an example. Because you people, you're also struggling with the issue of where you stay. Yes, it's true. It's a problem. It's true. So now I want to pray for you to be an example. I'm still repeating it. I receive. The reason why I asked you where you use, because I just saw you walking around. And when you walk around here, <laughs> I'm just hearing heat. Sorry? The reason why I asked you where you're working, I'm hearing heat. Yeah, I work with stoves. Come out! Come out! The spirit of delay. After this, go and tell you, hello, look at me. Go and tell your mother that she's healed. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because she's feeling pains. Yes. Too much. Yes. Even from the legs. Yes. Huh? Yes. And also let's pray against sugar diabetes. Make myself. On your mom. On, okay. I will tell her. You, this is... So that's why sometimes in your stomach, this, this sometimes it's like your stomach becomes somehow. Yes. Huh? Even yesterday. Even yesterday. Night. Yes. I'm see, it's like when you're standing like this, I'm feeling my stomach is somehow. Yes. Come out! Come out! I set you free. There's a breakthrough that is coming. You're free. And this issue of disappointments is over today. Amen. So, I receive. I want to pray for you. Ash. Do you have a child? Yes. Do you have a child? Yes. Huh? Yes, of God. Ash. And where is this child? Uh, currently in Bulugwani. In Bulugwani? Yes. You are no longer together with the lady. We together. We are together. Yeah. Yes. I want to pray for you. I want God to make you an example. I still receive. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Because you are saying you are together with the lady, but we need to pray for this relationship. It's true. Huh? It's true. Because it's not going well. Yeah, not, not the way I we said want to you. Are you still yes. together? Because mm. I, saw, I saw funny, funny problems. Yes. But sometimes you're even thinking of stopping it. Yes. So I want to pray for you. You'll marry. You understand me? Yes, I receive. I want you to marry what wedding? So what are you preparing for? Huh? It's what are you preparing for? Give glory to God. Because I'm just seeing. <laughs> but there's no money, sir. I'm not seeing money. Yeah, our money is zero. I want to pray for you because I just saw a white wedding. Why are you going to do it? 
it's a, we are going to do it in the church, but it's not our yeah, church. Charis. Sorry. Why are you going to do this white wedding? No, we are going to do it at church in our village. Ash. Maybe I want to reach you there. I want to pray for you, and God will stand with you. I just saw a new job that is coming. I receive. And I same thing. I saw a car that is also coming. I receive. Did you hear what I said? Yes. But you must pray. Say, I'm seeing many people that are against your family. You people, people of your family. Ash. You people, you need to pray. Do you hear what I said? Yes. Because many of them, they are not Christians. Jesus! Jesus, my dear. But I'm still hearing you've got doubts. Don't doubt. You Amen. understand me? Yes. Because lately you've been thinking, doubting. Don't doubt. You'll make it. You're free, sir. You're free. You're free. I'm good. I'm good. I want us to pray for you for breakthrough. For? Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Amen. I receive. Hmm? Don't fall. Yeah. Can I get an usher? This man wants to fall before I finish today. Please don't fall. I want us to pray for breakthrough. Amen. Because there is a lot of stagnancy where you are. Amen. Hmm? I receive. Because that's one of the main issues that brought you here. I receive. Yes. It's a breakthrough. Yes. Because you, you know you have a promising future. Yes. You are working hard towards it. Yes. But there is nothing that you are harvesting out of it. Amen. Hmm? Yes. It's as if there is. It's actually not as if there is actually a spirit of consuming Amen. the labor of your, I mean, the, the works of Amen. your labor. Amen. Am I, am I right? Yes. Because I'm seeing this spirit that keeps taking away from you. Yes. Takes away from you. When yes. you say it's coming, it's... Yeah, that's why I'm here. We are going to break, you are breaking the spirit Amen. of stagnancy around you. Amen. And God is setting you free in Jesus' name. Where is Jesus' name. Your spirit of stagnancy. Jesus' name. You are free, my brother. When you live here, Doors are already open for you. Amen. I receive. Yeah? Yeah, Amen. Whatever you are going to do now, we are going to see it Amen. bringing back and multiplying. Amen. I receive it. You are blessed. Amen. Come. Both of you. You can leave your bag there. Where is your mom? Where is mama? Back home. Back home where? Congo, Kinshasa. You stay together here? Yeah. Only the two of you? No, we've... Our sisters? Yeah. We've our sisters. You have your sisters. Yeah. yeah. Let's pray for you so that you people, you don't separate. Amen. Amen. It's true. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Amen. Because that's one of your mother's concern. Amen. Yeah that the enemy has entered in between her children and the enemy wants to scatter your people. Amen. Amen. 
Hmm? Yes. Mm-hmm. So that tomorrow you won't take off your mother. Mm-hmm. Because right now, what the enemy is doing, it's bad mouthing your mother. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hmm? It's, true. it's true. Because I'm seeing people that are actually accusing your mother of witchcraft. Yes. I'm sorry to say so. No? Yeah. There are people who are labeling mama bed. And now this thing is running in the family and people are believing it. And now the enemy wants to turn your people against your mother. It's true. So I want you to always stand with your mother. Are you hearing me? Yes. No matter what the world says about your mother, your mother is your mother. Are you hearing me? Yes. What they are saying about her is not true. The thing is, your mother is trying all she could to send you people to school for you to have a good life. It's true. It's true. And you know why she's doing that? because she had a lot of disappointment and a tough of outbring, I mean upbringing. Who is your father? He's back at home. He's back at home. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing your father anyway. It's like she's raising you as a single parent. It's true. Hmm? It's true. And now because she's, does your mother sell things? She wants to. She wants to sell things. Yeah. Because she's doing, I'm seeing her doing everything she can so that she can give you people a better life. And now because God is helping her to send you people to school and those ones who don't want your mother, their children are not progressing the way they think. They now say your mother is a witch. It's true. So when you get home, tell your sisters, I said, your mother is not a witch. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. And when you get home, you guys should stick together. Because if the devil prevails and scatters you, it's going to kill your mother. Amen. Because I'm not seeing anybody around here except you people. Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, um, yeah, we know you want to talk true. about. Our father is a man of God and he has always been at church and she was always there for us when we were 12. Mm-hmm. Another thing I want us to pray for you for intellectual. Hmm? Yes. Because now it's going down. Your people have become now forgetful. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true. True Am I lying? No. Because no. um, I do see you trying to study, but whatever you study, you forget it. It's true. You prepare for a test. When you get there, you don't remember anything. The, another thing I want us to pray for, I want us to pray for you. You should be extremely careful of the type of people you, sur- you s- surround yourself with. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Because if you are not careful, you're going to end up in prison. Are you hearing me? Yes. How old are you? 21. If you're not careful, by 25 years, you'll be in the dungeon. In prison. Huh? Yeah. The type of friends you are keeping around yourself are not good for you. Yeah. Or am I lying? No, you know. Hmm? No. Are they good people? No. no. Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing what they are doing. I'm seeing, I'm hearing what they are saying to you. Separate yourself from such people. Are you hearing me? Yes. You, you have a bright future. Separate yourself from such people. And God will give you a promising future. Amen. A one that will be a joy to you for the rest of your life. Amen. I mean, you're an intelligent young man. You understand me? 
Yes. You are an intelligent young man who should be getting distinctions in his studies. Not below 50. Amen. Amen. How much are you getting in your marks in school? Overall. Eh? Overall. No, I'm just saying in your test, in your assignments, in your what, what? Uh, not like I used to. I'm getting like 64. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You're a person who should be getting distinctions. Not, not what I'm saying. A person like you, you can't find 43 in, 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 in your things. No. It's not possible. No. A person like you, you find 98 in your things. Yeah. Am I lying? No. no. So you're an intelligent young man. Your problem, separate yourself from, from these people. There's no point keeping a person who's, who's not going where you are going. That person is only taking you back and away from what you are supposed to be. I'm talking to you as a younger brother now. Yeah. You understand me? Yes. So it's good for you to keep yourself around people who are going towards the direction that you are going. Hmm? Yes. The last thing, I want you people to pray and forgive your father. Are you hearing me, Nana? Yes. You are hearing me, Sissy? Yes. I want you to do what? Forgive, forgive your dad. father. Yes. Forgive your father. Are you hearing me? Yes. He is also doing all he could to take care of your people. It's just that in his ministry, there is stagnancy. It's true. So he can't he can give you all that you want. But he wants to. You understand me? Yes. yes. So I want you to forgive your father, love your parents, unite. Are you understanding me? Yes. And pray for your parents. Stay together, take care of each other. Are you hearing me? Yes. And this spirit that makes you to forget things is going to leave you. Amen. And you will never have nightmares again Amen. when you are sleeping. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because this is a spirit that they are sending to Amen. try to make you miserable. Amen. Hmm? It's true. Because there are times when you are, you are you, by yourself, you feel like you are, you will end up going mental. It's true. Eh? It's true. So this spirit that they keep sending to you, it's going to leave you today. Amen. And you will be normal, you go to school, you will graduate, have a good job, and live a good life. Amen. You understand? Yes. Stay away from this company. Yes. Because very soon you'll be smoking and drinking. And once you start doing that, prison will be waiting for you. Stay away from these people. Are you hearing me? Yes. Take off your sisters. Yes. Are you the only son? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Take care of your sisters. I will. Uh -huh. Make sure you guys are together. Pray together. Yeah. Study your books. God will take you far. Amen. You hear? Yes. And yes, in the future, you will take over what your father is doing. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. Amen. I said what? I will take over what my father is doing. Uh -huh. So if you are in prison, how are you going to take care of it? See, now the devil has won. Yeah. So stay away from these people. There's a bright future for you. And this spirit that is, is of stagnancy in your family, it's living today. Amen. Your Amen. people are free. Hold your chest. In Jesus' name, close your eyes. In Jesus' name. Bring it. In Jesus' name. Out. 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 Out in Jesus' name. The last thing I can tell you, be careful of the spirit of lust. Yeah. Are you hearing yeah. me? Yes. Be careful of girls around you. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You, you are not ready for marriage. Okay. You hear? Yes. When the time of you to get married comes, you will now start looking. For now, close your eyes. Okay. You hear? Yes. Close your eyes, focus on your books. Okay. Hmm? I will. Yeah. 
God bless you. Who's who's? Who's that? It's Mama Ne. Mama, please come. You will sleep from tonight here. You'll never have sleepless nights anymore. Look at Mama. Yeah, Pila. Mama, oh, come to sleep. Yeah. It's going speed. I want us to pray for your health. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Your health is not good. Yes. That is why I'm here. In short, it's in stake. It's at stake now. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. I want us to pray so that the devil won't take you before your time. Yeah. Because in your family, I saw a spirit that is hovering the spirit of death. Yes. It's of true. untimely death. Yes. People die mysteriously. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So this is the spirit that has been rumoring in your family of untimely death. And then we are going to pray that this spirit will never catch your life. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. This spirit, I want it to go back from wherever it's coming from. Yes. To whoever he sent it. Yes. Right? Another thing I want you, when you live here, I want you to pray because you have a lot of enemies around you. Yes, but I didn't know that I was enemies. Yes, I know that you didn't know. Yeah. Is it as a cause in Yeah. And now, so I'm going to I'm going to Yes. Yes, yes. Unga tembi mundu ngembilo yako. Yes. Ne? Yes. Because a lot of people around you are not what you think you are. they are. I'm not saying hate. And the Bible says we should love everybody. Yes. Love them, but be cautious and safe. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Love them from a distance. Yes. I love you. So much. Jesus died for you and me, but I ain't got nothing to do with you. Yes. You understand? Yaktanda, gakul foot, got them now as langan down. Yes. Gangshoma? Yes. I want God to heal you for your children. Yes. I want you to live long. Thank you, Jesus. But be careful of people around you. Because in the Bulalisayo, it's the fact that you see visions and dreams at night. And now you tell the next person. Hmm. Hmm? Yes. And now some Kazela, Gelum Kazela, you Salenga Chablang. Say Salates when you see that moon. You understand the thing, Kulmai? Yeah. I so I want you from today, whatever God shows you, you keep it to yourself. You pray about it. No ma gungatiwa ien zagele gupi gupi. Aucheli muntu or kopel muntu. Alrighty, nkosinge abonga. Father, I thank you. You will let it be done. Pume guyo. Aucheli muntu. Okay. Yes. Can I pray with you? Yes. Please lift your hands. In Jesus' name. Place one hand on your tummy. Yes, close your eyes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Mm, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Jesus' yeah. name. <sighs> out. Your spirit. Spirit of death. Yeah. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. I destroy you. Yeah. You are free today in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. My name is Lilian Chawoke. I'm from Malamlele, but I'm living in Bilaivila. Can you please confirm the prophecy that you received from the prophet of God today? Yes, the prophet that I received it today is very true. Mm -hmm. the, um, the prophet of God told me that um, I'm having a problem. There's a man who's coming to me to sleep with me. Mm -hmm. 
and that man is the one who's making me having uh, too many disappointments. Mm. Because every, every time when that man comes to me, the full long time when I was up, when I'm about to receive something, I don't get it. Mm. Mm. What did he say to you also? He also, um, spoke about your mom. Okay, he said I should go and tell my mom that um, whatever my mom is sick, mm. and I have, I have to tell her that just because I came here, he's mm. also healed in, in, in a sickness. Mm. And was your mother sick? Yes, mm. from from 1974, mm. on and off. It's always on and off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did it affect you? You know, yeah, it was not me alone. Everybody, even my, my, my siblings, mm -hmm. because I'm a first born at home, we were all affected because of fear. Mm -hmm. mm. You saw the apostle on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience? Wonderful. It was very good. Yes. Yeah. Man of God gives himself time to talk to us. It was very awesome. Yes. What did he say to you? He said, I'm, I'm worried about my children. Mm -hmm. And indeed, I'm very much worried because as a, as a mother, when I take my children to school, I, I, I want them to finish before I go on pension because now I'm getting old. Yeah, so and then the firstborn um, is married. Mm -hmm. He's also the member of the church. But you know, things are not moving properly mm -hmm. because um, um, most of the time at work, he's always com complaining about the the issue at work, and she used to tell me that, Mommy, I'm not happy at work. I want to resign. Even, even now, she wants to resign at work. She said, No, I have to resign. Mm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Every time, she's not happy mm, about what she's doing at work. Yeah. As you heard the voice of God through the prophet of God and the apostle, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> What can you say to the viewers out there? God is great. Mm -hmm. God is good every time, any time. God is good. And you know, sometimes um, um, when, we, when we pray, mm -hmm. we want to receive things immediately. Yeah. God's time is the best. And keep watching Charis TV. <laughs> because we learn a lot from Charis TV. We learn a lot from what's happening in the church, you know, most of the time when I watch Harris TV, I say, yeah, that's my church. Yeah, because most, most of the things are happening here. Yes. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that every, as you have seen things happening to other people in their lives today, today it has happened unto your lives here in Charis Missionary Church in Jesus' name. Yes. You know, I didn't even think about it. You know, I'm very happy. I didn't even think that it would happen the way it it's happened today. Amen. Yeah, I'm Amen. very happy. Amen. Thank you, Mommy. Stay blessed. Amen. Thank you. And also here with us, we are with one of the people who are also prophesied by the prophet, and he will be introducing himself to us. Sir, can you please tell us your name? Tell us where you come from, and also confirm to us the prophecy that you received. Uh, my name is Mukobe Mapa, original from Venda, currently in Pulukwane. Mm -hmm. The prophecy that I received is uh, very true. Yes, um, I can say uh, Prophet Andres uh, spoke several things. Um, asked me about where I'm working, um, which I told him that I'm working in the garage, I'm doing pastry stuff there. And I said he's uh, hearing heat and then it's true because there in the bakery it's all about heat, we're bending everything almost every minute. So um, he went, to and went on and said, uh, is uh, uh, prophesying uh, a good job in my life, of which um, uh, the previous week, in fact, not the previous week, I think it's three days back, uh, before I could come here, I had, um, I had a zeal in me that I must move around distributing my CV in places which is in line with my studies. Uh, and then when I come here and then He's speaking that I must get a better job. Then he gave me two months, of which I received, and I believe it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, he spoke about my family, that my family is uh, the standing um, alone amongst the, the tribe of Mapash. Mm -hmm. 
which I can confirm to be it to be true, because um, it's only my father that tried to reach out to other people of uh, the extended families to try to make relationship with them. But he's just a strong man to try to keep himself close to people who are in his bloodline. But he's doing it uh, with his own ability. We see there's no God in it. We, we are standing, even we try, uh, the, the people that were supposed to be very close to us as family, they, they are never close. They are, they are never close. We, we don't disclose anything to them, not because we don't want, because we, we see that they are not interested and then they don't take us as part of their family. Um, the other thing of uh, which he prophesied to is uh, about uh, the white wedding. Uh, he said, uh, "I must go. I'm, I'm going to have a white wedding, of which we 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 are planning, and then um, it's very difficult. But uh, we we have already started with the planning and everything. So we." The theme is white wedding of the wedding of what he said. So it's a confirmation of what we're doing. He's very right. He's on point. And now that he said it, I'm believing is going to to be very much uh, simple for us to go ahead with the plan and uh, and make it happen. Um, yes, I, I think is that what I can say. <laughs> he said uh, there's some very funny stuff of which he, which when he spoke that there's too much funny stuff around my life. Uh, in my heart, it clicked what he's talking about. And then when you pray, I, I understand he's done. Because he even said that those funny stuff uh, uh, must quit because I'm trying, and then which I believe is, uh, is done. How are you feeling right now? That the prophet of God would say something that is only understood by you because you said when he said funny stuff, it was you just understood what he's speaking about. Yes, I quickly understood what he was speaking about that clicked in me and so then um, because we, this prophecy thing it, it anchors us and then it revives our faith hope to God and then to, to hold on to him. You saw the man of God how was it? Yes I saw the man of God. The man of God uh, spoke one thing to me he spoke one thing to me he told me that uh, I've got a problem and that problem is the source of everything Ever since he said he started when I was young and is a generational case. So that thing ever since I was young, I've been trying to go here and there, deep inside me, knowing that this is the cause of all these other things that are happening deep inside me. And when I go to people I was expecting that they were expecting that they will go to that root cause. But they've never mentioned it, not everyone, not, not all of them. But when I saw the man of God, he spoke that, and then he said, um, you try to make love to yourself. So when he spoke that, is the thing that myself, I've known that is the cause of all the problems that I was having. But nobody has ever mentioned it, and nobody know about it. So then when he spoke that, I was, uh, I was very much happy that he's starting where I, I, I've been expecting everyone to start. So he said, when that uh, is done, I pray for you and you are delivered, and then you will get a job. And then his son, uh, Prophet Andres, he continues with the other things that he promised that will happen. So, so I feel very much revived. As you are revived, I believe you are in a right position to revive others out there. What can you say to other viewers out there? Uh, I can say uh, people who must not uh, turn a blind eye to what is happening. Uh, in charities and other living churches. Uh, this is the time of grace. So let us grasp this time. Because when this time is gone past, you will just cry. We give glory to Jesus for life. We believe that the Almighty God has done it for you in Jesus' name. And also here with us, you are with our two visitors who were prophesied by the prophetess of God and they'll be confirming the prophecy that they received today, whether it was true or not. So can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from and also introduce the lady next to you. Yeah. My name is Sain Kalombo. I'm from Congo, Kinshasa, currently studying here in South Africa, Johannesburg. And right next to me is my sister, Charity Chimanga, also studying here in South Africa. Let's confirm the prophecy. Is it true? Yes, it is. Everything the prophet has said, it's true. 
let's break it down. The woman of God started by speaking about your studies. Yeah, she said that my studies are getting low because mm -hmm. uh, I had high grades, I had distinctions on the time. So now I'm getting lower and lower. She said there's a problem. That, that's true, actually, because that's exactly what's happening with my grade right now. How did it affect you? Yeah, it affected me uh, pretty bad because usually I'm used to distinctions. So now I'm getting down lower and lower, and it's like getting me depressed and stuff. And she said that for a person like you, you were not supposed to even get 43, is it? Do you have any exam that you ever got 43? Uh, yeah, there's one. So she's correct that yeah. you have went down in a way that you have got 43? Yes, exactly. I went to 94 to 43. Amen. Yeah, amen. And how are you feeling about that, that it is God speaking through the woman of God? Yeah, it was shocking at first. Mm -hmm. it was, I was like, she said 94, 43, exactly. Mm -hmm. The two, the first exam and the last exam I did mm -hmm. was exactly those words. I was like, I was really shocked. Amen, amen. And the woman of God spoke about friends, the friends that you have around you. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, I, for the last couple of years, when I was a kid, I had nice friends like cool friends but nowadays i have friends that drink smokes some of them do drugs some of them don't go to school even though they're supposed to yeah and she spoke about you taking over what your father is doing yeah since i was a kid uh, i've been told that that i am supposed to be taking over what my father is doing because i'm the only son in my family. Um, my sister, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today? Yeah, everything like this she said is true. She spoke about your mind. Yeah, sometimes when I'm alone in my room, mm -hmm. I tend to think that I'm going mad, like mm. I'm going mental. And nightmares, I was having nightmares, but I wasn't talking about it. And I, if, I didn't even talk about it with my brother or my sisters. And I was shocked when she mentioned it. But it was something that was really worrying me. And she also spoke about you preparing so hard for an exam, but when you get there, you don't remember a thing. You can't even recall what you read yesterday. Yeah, generally in our family, we are the two who are getting uh, high marks. And I was like, I can study, and then I get there, I'm like, I'm lost. Like, I can't remember anything, and that was also worrying me. But I didn't know that that was the problem, you know. I didn't know exactly what was the problem, but when she mentioned it, I realized it. You were, you were even crying. How did you feel at that moment? It was because when you have some problems, sometimes you don't know how to see the exact point. Like, you don't know what is the exact problem. But she didn't talk very much, but she just pointed those problems. And I was like, just, it's just amazing. And she, beside the issue of your mom, because you, con you confirmed that whatever she said about your mother is very true. Let's speak about your father. She said that you must forgive your father. Tell us, how, how, how would you normally feel when thinking about your father? Yeah, our father has been very busy. And he's a man of God and he's a busy man. But sometimes he tries his best, like she said. He tries his best, but sometimes it's not easy because when you are going through some stuff, some fears you can't talk about it with him like yeah you can't it's something that worry us but it's just like that and our mom has always been there for us and it's something that and our unity our unit when she talk about unity in our family it's true actually because we would we had some problems with unity and she was worried and she always prays about it. 
and you as a male child how did it affect you this issue of your father uh, as the woman of God said that you must forgive your father uh, usually I, I don't really talk a lot like if I talk to my father it's like just a couple of words it's not really a deep relationship like I had, uh, I had like a grudge against him so now I'm mm, feeling a little like as I believe that the Almighty God has done it for you in Jesus name what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there more especially you uh, what I would give to those who are watching uh, to never give up first of all to never give up on God first because what God did today is amazing been going to churches and places no one has ever spoken to me like that so I will tell you one thing, never give up on God, God, He will never give up on you. My sister, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there, especially to young ladies out there who are having troubles with their academic? As the woman of God has prophesied you, what can you say to the viewers out there? I can say that everything in our life are related to God. If you want solution for one thing that is worrying you, you have to come to God and you have surely the answer we give glory to jesus for your life i believe that the almighty god has done it for you